that was considered a scandal oh, back wow. then. Well, that was a scandal. That was a scandal. That wasn't a crime. That's a scandal. He went out midday, right? Went to the barbers, got the barbers to do his haircut, and then just fucking cut his throat open with the fucking scalpel. It was fucking. It was so brutal. It was a scandal. That little. That little tyke. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a smart man, you know this. I'm not just a pretty face. Yeah, yeah. Very much that, but not just a pretty face. You can also catch this face, though, every Tuesday from 2 to 3 p.m. on Switch Radio. And by catch this face, I mean voice, because yeah. it's radio. It is. That's kind of stupid. So one thing you can't catch on it <laughs> is my face. Yeah, unfortunately. But, yeah, you know, we are on about dinosaurs, though. Um, them, yes. Not believe... Uh, not dinosaurs, sorry, dragons. Dragons, yes. Um, them, yes, probably dinosaurs. You know what was real, though? What? Still is. Fucking mermaids. <laughs> mermaids are fucking real, man. Mermaids are not real. It's crazy enough. I, I woke up this morning and I did not think you the one the, thing I was going to get confirmed to me was mermaids. <laughs> Just 100% confirmed. 100% confirmed, 100% yeah. confirmed. Well, I mean... Couldn't have been a manatee with a wig on. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I thought it could have been. <laughs> It was, um, I mean, I could show you the picture, actually, because it was on here. Um, Apparently that was the, the, the original, like, lore of it, was it came from, like, manatees and, like, yeah, horses yeah. that they And these see. things as well are, yeah, they saw them as, like, they were so desperate for fucking, for women. They yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> be like people, um... I swear it looked like a mermaid, I swear it did. <laughs> be like people in Scotland banging fucking sheep. Oh, I thought it was just a guy in a jumper. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's all a, I thought it was. An ugly grey lady in a jumper. <laughs> you know, look, there's a mermaid. Look, how can you argue it? Just a mermaid right there. No. That's a motherfucking mermaid. He's an no. expert right there and he can't say exactly what it is. That, yeah, it's because it's an extraordinarily rotted animal. <laughs> that, 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 that is part of it. <laughs> and they buried it, you know, because of mythology and all that. Definitely not just this stunk. And they were like, yeah. how do we get rid of this smell? Yeah. Bury the fuck out. Yeah. The only reason murder people um, bury, the dead, bury the dead. Really? Because they smell Right. And they're like, oh, I don't know what to do here. I better bury it. You better bury it. Hmm. We get some dogs. <laughs> but definitely a mermaid, I don't care. You can argue it. <laughs> For people that can't see it, which will probably be everyone then, that's not watching the clip, it's like a white... Looks like, kind of looks like a whale, doesn't it? In it a does way. a bit. It, I mean, it, that's the thing. It could be, it could be a dolphin. It could be a small whale. Apparently, it's definitely be, a mammal. Apparently, it, oh, it's hundred percent a mammal. Yeah, that it's the it's the type of tail. Oh, I wouldn't have. I mean, look, the thing is, like, if you look at dolphins' tails and you look at um, whales' tails, they are both horizontal with the flaps. Whale tail. Like that. Um, like that, yeah. Whilst the yeah, whilst fish tend, not all of them, but most of them tend to have the one that goes vertically and then it's like pushes that way instead. Yes, you know. Yeah, yeah, I kind of do actually. So that does yeah. to me that reads as, as a mammal because it looks it looks like it's got the similar sort of layout. I understand what you mean. I never looked at it like that before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this was reminding me though. Have you heard? Because of... that 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 came from it having feet essentially. Yeah, the mammals are the ones that went out of the water and then went fucking back in again. <laughs> really? They went yeah. back in. They what? went back in. What? I never knew that was the idea. Yeah, that's, that that's they, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they came from the same stuff we came from. Once it had already come out of the yeah. water. What the hell kind yeah. of people? That's why walruses back in? and seals and stuff have still got like basically legs underneath, but they're sort of combined together into this flappy thing that's now turned into like flippers as opposed to feet. Fucking idiots. Yeah. Uh, but they, it do works like crocodile? For yeah, crocodile. No, it works for crocodiles. Yeah. It doesn't work for seals and that because they're big, fat things. I'll tell you who it fucking things. works so well for is otters. Otters fucking have a laugh, mate. Otters are cool. Like they um have the flappy kind of tail, don't they? Yeah, is yeah. Is that yeah. bad? No. No. Well, that beavers. Beavers. Have beavers. That's what I'm thinking but, of. But but so do so do otters. Otters have got a little bit. Well, they got the beaver, beaver tail. tail. Not quite a beaver tail, but they've got a like they've got a. a, th a it's it's more like a normal like. Explain this beaver. Thin tail, but it's like it's quite a strong one. They can fuck things up with the tail if they want to. I never knew beavers had strong tails. Beavers got really strong tails. I've heard they got strong mouths and they can like oh, no, clamp yeah, down yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and if just you get slapped by a beaver tail, you know about it. If you slap a beaver, you know about it. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense that I'm referring to a vagina. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I didn't know if maybe in your posh world. Your oh, I know land. what a beaver is. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. I know what a beaver is. Oh, I've seen many a beaver. So <laughs> paid for them. Yes. Bought them. Sold, sold them. On. them. <laughs> <laughs> talking about fucking. Rented them for a while. We were talking about somebody renting things out 
Have you heard about Vince McMahon? The WWE. Oh, isn't he selling it off to... Oh, no, that's all done. Oh, that's he, done. It's already sold off to the UFC owners, TKO. Yeah. TKO now own, like, UFC. Isn't that Dana WWE. White as well? Yeah. That, so Dana it's, White It's the parent owns... company of UFC. Jesus Christ. Which um, Dana White is a part of. Yeah. Uh, but now The Rock is also a part of as well. Jesus He's bought into it. Um, but Vince McMahon has been fired. Well, he's had to resign. He's not allowed back in. He's gone from the company now because a few days ago... Um, he came out. He was already having this lawsuit before where he apparently paid somebody off. Yeah, for something. Sex that, stuff. Yeah. Apparently, it seems that he didn't pay that money to her like he agreed. Oh, so for she's come out sake, this, and announced his next stuff. Basically, that um, he would pass her on around. Um, like he got Brock Lesnar to re-sign by giving her to Brock Lesnar. Jesus Christ! Um, he shat on her head at one point. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, there was loads of crazy shit there. What like, is wrong with these people, dude? Like, what? Oh, is uh, they, uh, Brock Lesnar. She, he, Brock Lesnar asked her for a video of um, her weeing to be sent to him. So we find that Brock Lesnar is into wee. Into, into piss porn. Yeah, yeah, piss awesome. porn. Awesome. Like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. It's cool for Brock Lesnar to be caught up in all this shit. Like, yeah. oh, well, like he, a little bit of piss. I mean, he jokes. Now, now everyone knows I like piss because <laughs> Vince couldn't just pay his debt. Yeah, yeah, basically, basically. <laughs> And a few other like higher people that were involved in it too. Why all wouldn't you pay? You've made the agreement. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you pay? Vince had the habit of doing that. He's always done that. Like, he he bought out like yeah, companies but it's and that. It's going to cost him more in legal fees alone than it's going to cost him in the final settlement. Settlement. Like, I mean, I don't know. Like, if you just hold his hand up and be like, yeah, you know what, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he he has to pay like a few million or whatever. He still just sold WWE for like. T- so like 19 much much billion money. or something yeah, like something, that. Something stupid. They've just um, they've announced now as well. Do we? It's going to Netflix. Is it? Ne- January 2025. It's going to Netflix. Raw, SmackDown, NXT pay per views. All on Netflix. All on Netflix. Yeah, man. I might actually watch it. Yeah, why the hell not, man? It's Netflix. <laughs> I'm actually going to watch it, and I'll actually like have oh. the for the first time in a long while. Yeah. They're actually going to have my, you know, ratings there. As yeah. somebody that's watching it legally, oh, I'm always watching it legally, of yeah, course, yeah, but, of course. you know, because VPNs. Wink, wink. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, but Netflix, though, man, that's so cool. That's, I really that's, like it. That's, that's impressive. That's mm-hmm. impressive. Five billion, that was worth. I mean... I'm guessing that means Netflix paid five billion to them. Yeah. And There's certain you... things that I would watch if I didn't have to pay for it. It's like Formula One. I really like watching Formula One, genuinely. And, like, touring so car racing and stuff like that. I like that stuff. Oh, it's so boring to me. Yeah, that's watching fine. something go zoom. That's fine. Zoom. Like if you went to the track. The thing to watch... is, the thing about racing is, racing is incredibly dull for extren- extraordinarily long periods of time, and then something awesome happens. Yeah, you're waiting. Like, people... Oh fuck! I can't believe I was there for that. That was awesome. You're waiting for people to crash anyway, really. Oh no, not even crashing. Sometimes it's like a ludicrous overtake, or someone fucking you know spins out that they just about managed to survive, and are oh, they going to get back up, up yeah. to the front? Yeah, and it's like. Those moments are what you're there for, but for the vast majority of it, it is just literally watching these things go around like a scale extra. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just... <laughs> yeah. yeah. I did watch um, some F1 at one point. It was like some races, and um, I can't remember the names. There was one guy that was like quite a champion kind of guy with beating everyone, and yeah. then some new guy popped up, and I know he went away for one, managed to come back in the end yeah. and beat him, I think it was. No, I don't think he did actually beat him. I think he came second or third still. The problem is... But the so guy much. was such a dick. Like, yeah. he could have won, but he went back to help someone. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm realising it, it might have been cars. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely cars. It was definitely cars. Do you remember them um, little aliens, like the mummified aliens that were taken into the Mexican Congress thing. Like, oh, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. They had um, a Peru forensic scientist right. look at it, managed to confirm, yeah, they're not, they're not mummies, uh, they're not aliens. They're, they're not aliens, no no no, no. no, no, no. Didn't point out what it was. No, but they're not aliens. They're definitely not aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. think they're biological beings full stop from what yeah, I gathered. Yeah, they might just be sort of puppets. But it's a puppet! <laughs> it's a puppet! It's a puppet! <laughs> Everyone's a puppet. Yeah. Everybody, um, <laughs> I can just fucking sync these together. I mean, if, if we're going to use our, our crazy minds, what could it be other than aliens that, that that would be like, oh, well, it's not aliens, but... 
It could be the um, the hobbit things that were around at the same time we evolved. Yeah, that's not a bad shout. They they are a thing yeah. that did exist. Yeah, you yeah. do know they did they existed. There's all these different humanoids at the same time as us. That's when yeah. the Neanderthals popped up and when they popped up. Yeah, I think there's another one as well. We just became the dominant one and we fucked and killed the other ones out of existence. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, literally, that's what mm-hmm. we did. Um. I was watching something about that. I was talking about like the Neanderthals in comparison to us. Yeah. Just how strong they were, like, and um, I don't know what the like hook thing was. It was saying we used to say that they were stupid, but there was actually no real nah, proof nah. of them being stupid at all. They oh yeah, were just yeah. as smart as us. They still did like you know create jewelry and stuff. Yeah, like that. they just yeah, had, they're very smart. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, they were doing all the same things that we were, apart from. I think bigger than ours, I think. Yeah, but I think it was something about the way that we interacted. Because the Neanderthals, I think, I think it was that the Neanderthals were still kind of like smaller tribes. Yeah, yeah, because they were and fucking we started brutal. banding together yeah. in larger and larger groups and just yeah, fucking yeah. them up. Because they were brutal, man. It'd be like Vikings kind of thing in comparison to like the army now. Oh, yeah. And they were like cannibals, essentially, yeah, at some yeah, point. Yeah. I swear I heard yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you're hungry and there's food. If you're hungry, you're hungry. Yeah. And dude's got to eat. And if you're... If you're like a Stone Age man, let's face facts, there's not going to be this thing of like, oh, well, we should treat them as equals. Like, no, they're not human. They're not like us. We're just going to kill them. They wouldn't even care about their own. No, exactly. But back like, then, like... You're from a different <laughs> patch of ground, like 50 yeah. metres away. That means yeah, yeah, you're yeah. an enemy. Political correctness did not exist back Mm-mm. then. And in many ways, that maybe was a better way to live. I mean, <laughs> it, that, was, it, that... was, it, was, it was better for... I'm sure it was better for comedians. I'm sure Stone Age comedians have having a, oh, a yeah, fucking yeah, riot yeah. of a time. Ah, 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 ah. Just kill a person, <laughs> laugh at it, everyone else yeah. laughs. It's like, yeah, sweet. I'd love to know if they had like actual language back then, though. I imagine they did They probably really... did, but they were, they were, it was probably quite basic. It was something like similar to like chips. a toddler kind of, of language, you know. Mm, um, mm. Like more like... Um, so it's like food, yeah. hungry, things like that. Sex. <coughs> yeah. That'd be the main things right there. Food, hungry, sex. Yeah. Um, and then eventually you'd start like diverging that into different things so food would become meat or berries or whatever. Yeah. That and then berries. eventually that becomes like, well, that's a different kind of berry to that berry, so we're going to call this that berry and we're going to call that that berry. And then eventually... You never had a that berry. A that berry's a really cool that's berry. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try that. Don't have a, this berry, though. No, they're not good. Fucking horrible. Oh, okay. I was truly gonna... disastrous berry. Okay, I was gonna have this and that, but I won't bother no, now. No, 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 I just no, have no, that no, and this. Yeah, just that, just that, this. that. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> I just remembered this now. <laughs> I've forgotten about it. Did you see all the Jewish people coming out of the holes? Holy shit! Like, what the fuck? Can we talk about that? There was literally, was there was that? a guy on Twitter. There was a guy on Twitter. I saw this on a meme. There was a guy on Twitter like fucking four months ago. Who tw- like I keep hearing like people are gonna call me crazy, but I keep hearing Jewish voices. I yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's like, "That's racist." Just yeah, racist. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, "Everyone owes me a motherfucking apology <laughs> right now." And he just puts the, <laughs> the fucking link to it. He's like, yeah. "Yes, these motherfuckers have been underneath my house." Yeah, yeah. It's like, why are you building a tunnel in New York? The one place where there are guaranteed to be giant buildings that do not want yeah, them to fuck yeah, with their yeah, structural yeah. integrity. And already have enough tunnels anyway. Yeah. There's loads of tunnels already in New York. Oh, it's madness. But they have a whole like underground system. It's absolute system. madness. <laughs> I'm guessing the tunnels couldn't have been that big. No, but they're, they're, they're still like enough from a person to crawl through. Yeah, yeah. Which is, that is, if you're putting that underneath the fucking foundations of a giant building. Yeah. It's that not... is so dangerous. It just takes like a couple of millimetres of shift on that and it if starts getting going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get it in the wrong place then yeah. It's, it's like terrible. Gone. You can't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, but they had gone on their side. Oh, gosh. God wouldn't let that happen, would he? It's been a thing recently. There's more and more people just tunnelling under their houses and shit. There was a woman on TikTok, right, mm. who has been tunnelling under her house for fucking months now, 
we don't even know if she owns the house or if it's rented. <laughs> we like uh, is it online. Or it's it? online. She's done a whole TikTok thing on it. Well, surely she got to the point where she it. ends up being sent a, a, a cease and desist order, basically, by the <laughs> state of like, do not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck with the foundations of of the house and your houses and houses. I think you're not building it big, though. You know, surely you could just do a hole down. Yeah, but th- she's not just done a hole. Down. Oh, she's, she's like doing whole excavated things. like oh. mine shaft. Well, in that case, shit. then. It's if like you do Barbarian, properly. man. Have you ever seen Barbarian? No, I haven't. Oh, you need to see Barbarian. Barbarian's what? fucking... It's fucking the builder awesome guy. Awesome horror movie. It's on oh, Amazon okay. Prime. It's free on Amazon oh, okay. Prime. Okay. Fucking free watch. on Amazon with well, the ads you, you, buy, you know you buy and you, oh, you've got Amazon okay. Prime it's free it's free on Amazon Prime if you pay for it exactly okay cool yeah. <laughs> it's on Amazon Prime basically um, <laughs> yeah you, you a, a fucking great movie and it's well worth watching if you haven't seen Barbarian watch Barbarian I do like some horror films to be fair so I might actually check genuinely that out genuinely fucking watch that it's I do so like good. horror films so good um, like a, Justin like Long's in it as just the worst fucking person in the world. Oh, I do he's, like Justin Long. He's good for horror he's, films. He's good for horror films because he, he is great at playing that guy who you're like, the I Weasley. really hope this guy gets fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that Weasley <laughs> kind of. Ugh. When he was younger, he could kind of play that, you know, like yeah. um, younger, like Jeepers Creepers. Yeah, yeah. Be that like the, kid like, who just like scared. Cool teen who got scared but survives and shit, but not anymore. Yeah, not yeah, anymore. yeah. Now he's just that that annoying douche. He's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's lost that youngness, so he's just got that now. Yeah, he's got yeah. the bitchness left. Uh, Barbarian, Amazon Prime. Merry bitchmas, merry bitchmas, merry bitchmas. See, I've got a good little topic today. It kind of takes us back to the topics of old, to be fair. I thought you were going to go on about mar- mermaids for a bit, genuinely. I thought that was going to be the topic. But... Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. no, 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 no <laughs> not the topic. I mean, get, don't get me wrong, mermaids are fun and all, but I can't do a whole thing about mermaids. No. We already tried that with the dragons, was hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't really... It didn't take that long from what I remember. No. This is going to be a whole different thing today. This is all about Dr. Satan. Dr. Satan? You're not supposed to look, motherfucker. This is what I'm going to be reading from. Dr. fucking Satan? Dr. Satan. It's all about Dr. Satan. Jesus. The terrifying French serial killer of World War II. Hmm. There's some crazy stuff in there. Slightly sources. Where are we getting this? Where are we getting I'm this? Going to say, this is all from Historic Mysteries. Very nice. Peter's very going nice. to be reading it verbatim. Thank you. Thank you very much, Historic Histories, for yeah, yeah, having yeah. your stuff out there. Yeah, they've got some good stuff on here, which is why I was like, I was going to re- uh, rewrite it all in that. And I thought, no, this is just very good. I'm just going to throw some love to them. Yeah. Pretty much reading from this. <laughs> for our own little spin on it. Yeah. Um, so this is amazing. Not only is it somebody, a French person. Yeah. The clarifies as terrifying. That's amazing, first of all. It gets weird for someone to, to, to as a French person, to not want to just be a horny dirt box. Yeah, or, or just... <laughs> <a thing. laughs> Sorry, that is so fucking... <laughs> it's such a stereotype. But... Oh, or being a cheese-eating surrender monkey. Mm-hmm. That too. Let's be yeah. honest. French people are one of the last ones you can be oh. ob- unobjectively racist to. I've been watching loads of horror movies. Mm. And I watched this one about a woman who goes in to have like breast reduction surgery at a dodgy clinic somewhere in like Czechoslovakia or something. They never right. they never quite say where it is, right? Mm. Um but while she's in there they find out that they've been working on a of course a a, a thing to extend people's lives and it turns out that they're zombies and the zombies oh. start infecting everyone. It's, that's how you like, that's how you want your life to be extended. Yeah. And it was one of those ones where it's like this is this is fun, but it is just basically followed every single fucking like stereotypical thing a, a horror movie could do. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Which isn't always bad. It's not always bad, but there was this French guy in it who is just the fucking worst. He's like French. absolute fucking Euro trash. <laughs> <laughs> he spends the entire movie trying to fucking find heroin to do. And then he fucking yeah yeah like any while being attacked opiate. by a monster yeah 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 yeah, yeah. naturally so that's obviously his because yeah as soon as you take the hair in as well I'm sure it's going to go great for it's you it's going to go that. so well yeah yeah and there's a point where there's this this actor dude who got a fucking a penis extension and uh, that's at least fair yeah he's only just had it but he wants to try and screw this chick anyway and that like could go bad. it goes yeah it's not or good. Could go bad and he's like oh I'll clean it off and as he's cleaning it off he puts on the hot tap and it burns his dick. 
<laughs> Who puts it straight under without like, checking the temperature? Yeah. This is ridiculous. And they get an ointment, and she puts the ointment on, but it turns out that the ointment's flammable, and they accidentally light a f- like, while while one of them's on having a cigarette. It's a horror movie, it, it a fucking scary movie. I know. This, yeah. like, this does not sound like a serious yeah, horror film. Their dick sets on fire, and then she gets a fire extinguisher to extinguish the fire dick, but that only only freezes the dick, and then the dick falls off. Because of I'm course, surprised after all of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <of> <laughs> And I thought this was graphic. Wow. Well, this has got nothing on that then, in that case. It but was, I'll try. It, yeah, but like, it's, it's that kind of movie. And of course, this French dude just, he gets bitten, but he doesn't tell anyone that he's bitten. And he tries to oh, have them kind sex of with this woman against a will. Like, well, you know, the fucking, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. He's a, and then he's turning into a zombie while it's happening. And then she runs the car into his face. And it's, it's brilliant. And, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> None of that surprised me from the French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't have to say the zombie. I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. All of that. But that, that's just to give you context on why this guy shouldn't shouldn't want to be seen as that kind of Frenchman. Oh, I thought you meant to <laughs> say why this guy shouldn't want to be seen as a Frenchman. Because <laughs> that'd be, that'd be a fair enough statement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so Dr. Satan then. Dr. Satan. Otherwise known as... I'll go through like little bits and then we'll stop, you know, okay. and go through. Okay. Um, Dr. Satan, a.k.a. Marcel Petiot... Uh, was born on the 17th of January, 1897, in Auxerre, France. French. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, French. The writing was on the wall from an early age that something was missing in the psyche of Marcel. At the age of 11, he took his father's gun to class one day and fired it for seemingly no reason, and later that year, he propositioned another 11-year-old for sex. No. So I'm guessing he was 11 at the time, didn't yeah. point it out, but... I know he does, age 11. Yeah. Okay. I've just realised... Uh, <laughs> this is going to sound really weird, but... Your lisp is in exactly the same place as Sean Connery's. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Connery got a lisp. I reckon if you were Scottish, you'd sound much. Like oh Connery. yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That boy blessed a bit. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 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 this incident oh. led to the first of many school expulsions. There you go. You see, I think that sounds fucking great. I think you should be Scottish from now on. Oh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just be Scottish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was born in England, but that's the matter. Just declare yourself Scottish. Do you know, I was born in South There's people out there declaring themselves as South Korean. I mean, you can go with Scottish. I'll go with that then. Yeah. yeah. Well, I do, I do <laughs> have family in Scotland actually, so I'm part Scottish. There you go. There you go. Yeah. My um, nana and nana McCann Mc. Really? Muck. 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 That's a uh, proper muck. Yeah, proper muck. A proper muck. I mean, my granddad isn't actually him, though. Like, my dad has a different dad than the rest of the family in his family. Right. People in his family. Right. We were all a smorgasbord, to be fair. Smorgasbord. Everyone was slags. <laughs> <laughs> These incidents led to the first of many school expulsions, as I would imagine so. Yeah. As a teenager, Marcel robbed a post box and was subsequently arrested for theft and damaging public property which resulted in his first psychiatric evaluation. Uh, he was, his charges were dropped when he was diagnosed with a mental illness. And from what I remember, it just clarifies it as a mental illness. Just the whole a, way men- a general yeah. mental illness. I mean, this is World War Two, so I guess, you know, you're not going to have... A mental illness probably covers many things. I mean, the, the thing is, back then, mental illness was just a thing that they used as a term and then just put them all in the same room in a funny farm. Mm. Like, that's... Yeah. That's basically where we are in psychological evaluation at this point. Because when you click on it, it just comes to a page saying, was Rosemary Kennedy mentally retarded? Oh, my God! <laughs> That's just what comes up when you click on mentally ill, so, or mental illness. Holy shit. Take that as you will. Take that as you may. <laughs> um... uh, his first running with the law did little to dissuade Marcel a.k.a. Dr. Satan, mm-hmm. from his criminal exploits. He continued to be a delinquent and was repeatedly arrested... These later arrests led his diagnosis being reaffirmed in 1914. Did he ever actually go to a fucking asylum or anything? Or did they... Did he uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Him? Don't get ahead of yourself. Uh, we'll find out. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The diagnosis of mental illness, though, didn't stop the French army from accepting his application to join the war effort. Of course not. <laughs> no, because of course have mental illness. That's who you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ha- well, I would, to be fair, French mentally ill. Just make sure he's nowhere near his own people and just let him loose. He'll be fine. I mean, it wasn't fine, though. No. That's we'll find out. Oh, dear. <laughs> he hadn't been serving for long when he was injured during the Second Battle of the Aisne. Right. And which led to another... Aisne? Where the fuck 
know. I know I might be saying it wrong, but the problem is I don't care. The ASNI. 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 Led to another psychiatric evaluation during which he was diagnosed with having had a breakdown. Oh my god, that's impressive. So, like, if you're getting a psychological evaluation from the army, then there is something very wrong with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he had a breakdown. Oh god. Whatever that really means. Yeah, what kind of breakdown? It doesn't say. Oh. Like, it doesn't say at all. Um, he had done enough, the military service had done nothing to straighten him out, and he was arrested. Um, for again, for stealing military blankets and morphine, as well as personal items. The morphine will come up a few times. Mm. Um, he was sent to a psychiatric hospital in hey. Fleury Le Obres. Fleury Le Obres. Yeah, I mean, it, it, what, what, what was the date of this again? 1918. This is yeah, 1918. So basically, he's being put in a building full of fucking mad boxes. Pretty much. Um, and, and like, if you're if you're having a bit of a problem mentally, oh, and then and like you're having a bit of a breakdown on a battlefield, and you've already had some mental problems with that before. Yeah, might not be the best place for his mental health at this point to be sent to one of these places. Shame I didn't think like you because he was treated and then instantly sent back oh, to the army. <laughs> oh no! It's all right though. His last deployment was cut short because he um. Blew his foot up with a grenade. Oh, <laughs> fuck! Oh, well, my God! Well, he said he injured his foot with a grenade. I mean, I'm assuming a foot was still there. Yeah, that's, that's still, like, a grenade, man. That's not a good foot Grenade anymore. back then, though, they weren't. Oh, they were pretty. Were they're they? still pretty good. Oh, okay. A fragmentation grenade. So it wouldn't have necessarily gone off to quite the same extent. Yeah, yeah. But if it's yeah. by your foot and that yeah. thing goes off, it is going to take your leg off. Mm. Really. Like, that's what it's designed to do. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't quite the case then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it might it might well have just sort of been, like, dropped in the mud or he leapt away from it as he dropped it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And that could still quite easily fuck up a foot, yeah. I mean, uh, you're right, though. I mean, if you've been mentally... Like, if you've gone into mental psychiatric hospitals... last thing you need to be doing is give them that man a grenade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> going off to war. So you're not all there. You had to go to a mental asylum a few yeah. times, probably, at this yeah. point. Well, we'll still have, yeah. I don't want Fine. you to have a knife. No. I don't want you to have a grenade. You're allowed to have a pistol or a rifle. Not both. Yeah. Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> one thing, what, what are the few things you wouldn't want like a crazy, a full-on crazy, violent person to do? We're definitely crazy at this point. I don't want them to have a knife because they're going to start killing people in their sleep. What about jobs? What jobs would you not want them to um, You probably wouldn't want them in construction. You wouldn't want them in politics. You wouldn't want them as a doctor, for sure. Funny enough, <laughs> Dr. Satan went on to become a doctor. Doctor! <laughs> <laughs> when the war ended, he joined the Accelerated Education Programme for war veterans. Oh, Christ. Within eight months, he had finished medical school this and was working happens. as an intern. This is what happens in a world with no background checks at all. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. oh, look, you were in the army. Well, get on in, son. <laughs> I think even if you had background checks, I think they were just like, you in the army, you, yeah. you know, you get to do it. Yeah. You've, you've um, he, he actually like kept his head down and graduated in December 1921. Apparently, the first time he actually did Buckled something down and did it mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> for ulterior motives, probably. Of course, uh, he, he was very interested in stuff by this point, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wasted no time in going back to his criminal ways after getting his thing. Right. He purposely got his patients hooked on addictive drugs and secretly applied for state medical assistance. Um, the drugs were like morphine, like I said, and some other stuff. Yeah. Um, he paid both his patient. It meant he was paid by both his patients and the government for each treatment. So he was double dipping as well, doing a bit of fraud. Yeah. Did a bit of fraud, which I mean, yeah. out of everything, that's the least least of the problems. Yeah. Um, he I also mean, fraud's, out is, frauds, frauds, one of those ones though. Well, like people won't get caught. For like years and years and years, for mm. murder and theft and fucking arson and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but if you fuck with the IRS, yeah, yeah, <laughs> or crazy. if you fuck with the HMRC, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are 
fucked. Like, like it, there's a reason why the mafia go to extraordinary lengths to launder their money through yeah, fake businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To lose money and pay the government every single penny they need to so that that money is just legit now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, crazy. Like, it, it, it does show the world, like, how, like you said, how ridiculous they go for, like, oh, the yeah. money. Stuff That's how they took down uh, fucking... Um, Al Capone. Yeah. And they couldn't take down Al Capone on any of the murder charges, yeah. anything like that, but he dodged his taxes. Yeah, yeah, and the, yeah. And uh, the IRS were like, well, we fucking got him. And as soon as the IRS were there, the FBI were like, hey, we'd like to take a look into some of these files while you're down. And, uh, yeah, that was how they got him. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. Boom, motherfuckers taken down. Or I mean, was no, it FBI at that time? I can't remember if it was FBI. Uh, at that when would that have been? Uh, 40s, 50s. Yeah, FBI was around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, FBI has been around, I think, like since late eighteen hundred, something like that. Oh, really? Or early so nineteen. Yeah, yeah. It's earlier than you think. Let's have a quick look. Yeah. CIA is fairly new because it used to be. CIA is a lot newer. Yeah, yeah. It that used was to be the OCS or something. OCS, yeah. Or yeah. well, I always call that OBS, but that's the fucking thing. Isn't yeah. It? Um, yeah. When did the Federal Bureau of Investigation? Let's just have a look at Wikipedia for easier. Uh, let's have a look. Who should tell me why? See ya. You'd imagine. Um, formed 1908. 1908, there we go. Quite a while, early 1900s, like I said. Always come to me. I'm not just a pretty face. I've also got the knowledge. That's that's cool, because that means if they do a, a Red Dead Redemption that goes into the future one more time, you can have the FBI in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the game I was playing is kind of like the beginning of the FBI and yeah. stuff. It was, um, it was playing Evil Meets Evil West. Could you imagine? It must be so fucking awesome to be able to walk into an establishment and just say... FBI! <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just must be... Uh, that is the biggest ball swingingest dick... Like, Which is why you get so many sociopaths yeah, going into it. Like, FBI! <laughs> I mean, it makes Give sense. Me a fucking donut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in 1926, Petiot uh, met Louise Delarue. Uh, Delarue? Mm-hmm. Ooh. This is the daughter Ooh, of an God elderly patient. Yeah, and I think she was quite posh from what I remember reading on a separate oh, with thing. A, with a Della. Yeah, it had to be. Before the name, it has yeah. to be. I think he remember got, he got quite friendly with her, yeah. although it was reported that she was probably um, his first murder victim. Of course. It oh, was... never, never, never try and be friends with crazy people. No, Even... no, no. Even if you feel like you should. <laughs> if you feel like you should, it's probably the time you definitely shouldn't. I mean, me, for example, if I'm really attracted to a lady, I'm like, okay, well, probably she's crazy. Yeah, she's crazy. She's yeah. definitely crazy. We know that about you. Yeah, yeah. So. I have to go for people I'm not attracted to. So if I ask you out on a date, then be uh, be insulted. <laughs> 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 um, so I won't, we won't go into the whole uh, thing about what happened with her. Just because there's a lot to get at here, and the stuff later on is more, more entertaining. More, well, more, yeah. yeah. More, more to do with our shit. Yeah, yeah. Our um, kind of vibes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the craziness. Um, reported, uh, neighbors reported seeing Petio placing a large trunk into his car around the same time she disappeared. Um, <laughs> yep, dragging it, and apparently nobody. A fucking large trunk. What was that? Been? That was my phone. Oh. Um. Police investigated but found nothing because, I mean, this is like, what, 1920-something? 1926. There's not really much you can do in 1926 in regards to police. It's pretty much, did you see him do it? No. Nothing we can do in that case, then. I mean, the police, the police are the ones that actually to see, literally had to see them. Um, but a few weeks later, police pulled a similar truck out of the Yon River. Uh, it was full of unidentified female body parts. Oh, my God, full. Full. Full to the full. brim. Full. I mean, we don't know how big it was. It was only hers, I imagine. Doesn't point out. Yeah, but... Could have just been small, a small case, like, you don't know. Yeah, but they, they, they said oh, it said was a large trunk. They did, didn't they? Maybe the people that said it was a large trunk were just un, unusually small. <laughs> <laughs> there's <laughs> just... There, there's a couple of dwarves living <laughs> yeah. next door. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite a, it's quite a, a large trunk. Uh, it's a large trunk. Back then, people uh, oh, okay, so um, so it's it's like it's like a six foot trunk. No, it's like a it's like a three foot trunk. <laughs> the very large yeah. trunk. I'll have you know. <laughs> put, put, put your phone on um, silent. Yeah, sorry. Fucking terrible, Mike. Had to cut this man. 
I'm sorry, it's, it's just... You haven't burped, it's, it's okay. It's the lady person. <laughs> lady I must person. please the lady person. See, that's why I'm terrible in a relationship, because I'm like, I'll oh, please her eventually. 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 When I get round to please Yeah, please her. <laughs> yeah. Please. He somehow... Oh, yeah. Um, oh, wait, what a scandal. Oh, so that, that was... Okay, so that whole... Scandalous. That whole unidentified Vast female body part. Scandal. That was considered a scandal oh, back well. then. Well, that was a scandal. That was a scandal. That wasn't a crime. That's a scandal. I don't think they could actually <laughs> tie it to him. I imagine. There's a lot of this where he just Why, gets away with shit. scandalous bastard. He murdered three people. <laughs> Chapped him up. <laughs> it's almost like after this first one, that he realises... <laughs> this guy must just realise he can do whatever he wants. Oh, to be alive back in the 20s. Yeah. To do whatever the fuck he wants. I mean, to be fair, they were they were smoking for breakfast and having whiskey at fucking... Hence why there were so many dwarves. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for that, the scandal... Did not slow him down, though. No. He yeah. somehow became mayor that right. same year. Yeah. So he's now the mayor and a doctor. Uh, the following year, he also married Georgette Lable, the daughter of a wealthy landowner. We can see her here if you want. Look at that. And look at him as well. Look at that. that there's, oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, what the hell? You wouldn't trust that man. No, I wouldn't trust him. Look at look him. Look at his fucking head. And look at the dress he put his wife in. I mean, what is that? That's like that's something you you bury someone in. That's not that something, is that is that is not something that you marry someone. But, in. And you couldn't even put a tie on, or has he got a white tie? Actually, I don't know. He's a, he just doesn't. He look. just look at the eyes, mate. Mm-hmm. It would like to have a son. A weird as well. ass stare, man. One of those stares of just like. Uh, imagine him him having a child as well. Yeah. Oh, 1928. He's now brought a child into the mix. Um, his mayorship was full of other scandals, like oh murders and whatnot. Oh, look at him! Killed look a couple of children. He went, he went out. In, he went out midday, right? Went to the barbers, got the barbers to do his haircut, and then just fucking cut his throat open with the fucking scalpel. It was fucking. It was so brutal. It was a scandal. <laughs> that little, that little tyke. He's <laughs> uh, a bugger, isn't he? He's fucking such a bugger. little bugger. <laughs> uh, his mayorship. Shockingly, was full of various scandals, including embezzlement and theft, as well as a healthy dose of fraud. Yeah. He resigned in August 1931, uh, but he still had many supporters because he had that charm, apparently, like many sociopaths do. Yeah. Uh, they always seem to have that charm, man. Yeah, he, it's, a, it's a weird thing that seems to be, like, strangely common, but I don't know if it's... It, I don't think it's... It, it's not charm, per se. It's, it's just not, not having... Charm. Not caring That's about... It. Because Fucking like people around. what they say a lot about like sociopaths and, and psychopaths and stuff like that is that they they maintain eye contact to an un unnatural degree. You don't want to do too much though, because then people realise this. Yeah, no, no, they don't even care. Some they, do. Some are trying to hide some it. Some of them do, but like th th even then, they still they have no problem with staring someone directly. Yeah, they have no problem with it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Whilst other people will sort of they'll look at someone and they'll look away for a little bit or sort of look down and then sort of yeah, get back yeah, to yeah. the conversation. I'm talking about that. that. I, I can't do eye, eye contact for what, a yeah. long time. Psychopath as I'm sure you realise. Just fucking stare straight ahead and just keep talking the entire time. And, yeah. it's, and it seems like someone's giving you all of their attention and all that, but it's not. It's a fucking predator staring at a prey. It very much is, yeah. You know, I'll tell you when I do I make sure to use um, a lot of eye contact when I'm going for like a job interview or something yeah. like that. Yeah. One on one. One on one, I can. I'm good like that. As long as it's for a short amount of time, no. Yeah. Um, but he somehow. So they had all these supporters and stuff. Um, he resigned. Oh, I said I did not. Yeah. He was soon elected um, once again, this time as a councillor for the city, I'm imagining. Cool. It proved to be short-lived because he was soon discovered that he had been stealing electricity. <laughs> throwing it under his coat, running out of the shop. He does look like oh, a bit oh, of a knockoff oh, oh. Tesla, though, doesn't he? He's he does, bit, you know, he's actually. He's got a bit of a Nikola Tesla look. He does, actually. Yeah. You're not wrong there, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he totally does. Yeah. He looks like he's taken a too few, like, a couple of extra electronic mm. shocks than he should have done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely, actually. Yeah, while he was in that... Um, that's probably what they did when he had treatment, to be fair. Yeah, they they, probably no, did you're something. right, actually. Yeah, electroshock yeah. was a big thing. Oh, yeah, they probably yeah. cut off the last bit of his fucking... Um, of his feelings and that. The yeah, last bit of yeah. humanity in him. <laughs> Oh God, what are they doing to us? <laughs> By the time he'd, left, he'd lost his seat, yeah. he'd already moved to Paris to reinvent himself. Oh. Using fake potentials. Well, uh, even sociopaths have to, you know, eat, pray, love. 
every now and then. What? <laughs> you know, Eat, Pray, Love, the book, where it's like, and the movie, where it's this this woman reinventing herself. Oh, no, Dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. totally going to watch that yeah, now. Yeah, he, he did himself an Eat, Pray, Love. That's okay. what he did. <laughs> Good man. Um, but you see, he had wealthy patients and a well-respected practice, yeah. but one thing he didn't have was a new way of living because he went back to his old habits of prescribing addictive drugs committing fraud and also in he was also institutionalized for kleptomania around this time but was soon released because you know he was actually kind of rich <laughs> you know, he's been doing that yeah maybe they rich yeah it's surprising landowner. how many people don't stop giving a shit about you stealing for your, stealing your stuff when you pay them a lot of money afterwards yeah 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 <laughs> yeah uh, well so, he's given me enough money to buy two of them so i guess that's okay <laughs> It just there's so much like little bits to this guy though as well, yeah. um, like he managed to dodge the the uh, draft for the French civilians by forging disability certificates and carried on being a doctor at home. Mm -hmm. So he managed to when I say during World War Two he wasn't actually fighting because yeah. smart man. Yeah. Because did you hear apparently they're talking about this won't happen? I guarantee you anything. Mm. They're talking about if Russia start to try and do a war with us, then they'll have to. To bring back um where it was called where, yeah yeah where um, saw that. national that's service it won't happen that's at all. not fucking happening good I, luck with this nah. generation motherfucker yeah. motherfucker <laughs> I, you know, like, I, I, I ain't oh, oh i have to go and and shoot a bunch of russian guys and potentially there's going to be nukes involved <laughs> no <laughs> no motherfucker man, no. man fuck that shit like i'm not doing that you can i ain't going dick. I, I would, care how many times you can script it. I would try and stop my kids from going, I ain't going to fight and die for a government that we don't agree with. Yeah. Kind of, they can't, even, fucking, we don't need they to can't even order shit enough to, to fucking get the NHS running properly, to get the police running properly, to get the fucking fire running properly. How the fuck do you think they're going to orchestrate a war? Yeah. It's going to be a fucking travesty. Yeah, everything about what the world in general is just a clusterfuck. Yeah. That's the only you way can't to... trust these people at war. Yeah, They've just... been pointless at it. Everyone will get killed and no one will have shot anyone else apart from themselves. I mean, realistically, though, you don't need as much like boots on the ground now, I don't think. So, like the weapons you got. It's mostly still. drone stuff. But that's yeah. the problem as well. It's just like you're not really going to be fighting people. You're just going to be fighting civilians, essentially. You're just going to be drone striking at each other's neighbourhoods. Yeah, like in yeah. the Ukrainian fucking Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, well, can you just fuck off? Can everyone just piss off for a second? It'd be more so like... Just enjoy life. Be more like whether they're coming to us or going to them. If they're coming to us and trying to get in our land, get then I'm a bit more like. Land. Then I'm a bit more like, all right, yeah, I'm not going to go over and fight them. But if they come over here, I'm going to bash them. I'm going to bash them in the head. Yeah, man. Bash them. They'll be coming to my land. I'll get myself a big piece of wood. I'll bop. Yeah. Because, you know, we don't get guns. Maybe they'll give us guns. That happens, though. be hard getting them off us again. Yeah, it would be very hard, yeah. We're already there anyway. I've seen, like, oh, I've seen a room full of handgunners. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This random um, person's house I went to yeah. that I might have been banging. Yeah. And the other people in the house are like literally um, a growth station in the one room and um, just a room just for the handguns. Guns. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. All in boxes ready to sell. Jesus Christ. <laughs> just handguns ready to sell. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, man. This shit happens. You don't realise it that much. Um, yeah, there's less of that where I am. <laughs> yeah, you know, this wasn't yeah. even in this city, to be fair. Yeah. It's a different city, but it's here just as much as well. Yeah. Uh, he began portraying himself as a hero around this time, and he claimed to be fighting the German occupation and being a part of the French resistance. So he wouldn't go to war, but he's claiming he's a part of the French resistance now. <laughs> um, he was under the guise of Dr. Eugene at this point. Um, yeah, I don't need to go for all of Eugene's this. Eugene's a weird name. That is a weird name. It's a weird name to pick. Uh, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 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 one that your your parents might pick for you, but it's a weird one to go out of your way of like, Eugene. That's what I want to be. I want people to say, "Hey, Eugene." <laughs> oh, I forgot about this part. This is one of the fucked up parts here. Okay. In reality, um, so Doctor Eugene had set up a fake escape network. Mm. Um, he claimed to be able to get those who the Germans were persecuting out of France. Oh, Jesus Christ. To Argentina. He didn't. And other South American Please nations as well. Me he didn't. 
Well, well, this isn't the part yet. No. He his price was twenty five thousand francs. Going, Carl. <laughs> um, twenty five thousand francs. For this. Yeah, of course. Why else would he do it? Yeah. Twenty five k per person. Jewish people, resistance fighters, criminals. Oh, they were all directed to Doctor Satan. Um, he told his people that an inoculation was required for entry into Argentina. Oh, of course though, it was. Because you don't want to get any of diseases. Of course it was, and then suddenly they get very The very only sneaky. problem was that the inoculation just happened to... Cyanide, weren't it? Cyanide? Took cyanide, so he didn't, weren't he, it? he didn't even, like, slowly, like, knock them out first, take them somewhere, deal with it later. He's just like, yeah, no, it's time to have the inoculation. Whap! Yeah, yeah, ha! yeah. Disappeared <laughs> them. And he really disappeared them. Jesus. He robbed them of their possessions, disposed of the bodies and pocketed the money that they'd already given him. Yeah. Like, I mean, he's paying... You're, that is the biggest fucking grift in the world. Pay, getting someone to pay you for their murder. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, literally. That is you to kill so them. Yeah. fucking horrible. And it must have been quite a few that he did it to. Yeah. Because at first he started dumping the bodies in the Cien River, I think that is. Oh, God. Um, but it just became too risky with the amount... So we changed tactics and submerged You've them. Got to, I mean, this is in Nazi... What, what year is this? France. This is like the around the 30s, it's got to be now. Yeah, is this in Nazi-occupied France, if it's the resistance? Yeah, well, actually, it's got to be like near the 40s, isn't it? If it's yeah. like the 36, let's, that let's, kind of time. Let's take that into account. Right? Beginning of World War this II. This motherfucker so. is going around, killing people, throwing them in a river, mm. in the middle of a war, mm. with the Nazis, who, to be honest, they don't really give that much of a shit about the local population once they've moved in, the Nazis. Yeah, because they were in there, weren't they? Yeah. I don't know if they were there at this point. Oh, they would have been. They yeah, they would have been, actually. Yeah, they were yeah. talking about the German So, like, the Nazis, you're killing people and putting them into a river in the middle of a war to the point where Nazis are paying attention and going, we have to start paying attention. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of bodies in Eventually. this river, okay? This is fucking weird, all right? We have to deal with this <laughs> because this is going to make us look very stupid, okay? <laughs> they, they, they never said that they noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Just that he had to stop because he, they might know. They might know. He was ahead of it. All oh, right. He started submerging. You know, I don't know what quicklime is, but he was also burning them too. Oh, Christ on a cracker, uh, which is harder than you think, man. That's shit. You have to burn yeah. it hard to do that. Have you ever, have you ever seen that bit in uh, in Peep Show when they try and burn the dog? No. <laughs> One of them accidentally fan. runs over a dog, and they've got to try and burn it in a in a forest to try and sort of hide the evidence. And <laughs> it's just it's just like. Do you, do you think it's burning at all yet? Uh, it doesn't seem to be. And he's like, oh. It seems like dogs are mostly water. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. It's such a stupid fucking show. Now, you might know what this is then. Uh, the Gestapo? The What's Gestapo, that? yeah. Is that the German people? The Gestapo were basically... They were... Well, they used to investigate, you know, anything that may have to do with, you know... German police? Spies. Oh, OK. Or, uh, or Jews. The German or, ones, I'm guessing. Uh, spy Jews. Spy, or, oh, Jewish uh, spies, that'll work. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, all of the different all of the, things all of the different ones. that may be important to the Gestapo. <laughs> <laughs> there really is, like, a lot of... Weird, like underlying hate, hatred for um, Jewish people. I don't. It's strange. It is weird. Yeah, it's because I used to be like, well, it's not. Actually I have there, a problem with what's happening with the whole fucking Palestine thing. Oh yes, yeah, I mean That's any, fucked any up. fucking. But it doesn't mean any that realistic I, person this, It doesn't mean that, you, that it gives you the right to go like and fuck the Jews. What? <laughs> no. This ain't fuck no, everybody. No, 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 no. Just fuck people in general. Just fuck people in general. This yeah. is this is what happens when people get too much power and they keep on exerting it. Yeah, but apparently, apparently, like, you know, uh, Israel, they're, they're the good guys, you know? Yeah. Completely? Yeah. There's Even no, though... Um, the older you grow... The you, there's no good guys. Realize, yeah, yeah, there's no good guys. There's no bad guys. There's, yeah. no, there's no good... There are bad guys, but there's not good guys. No. <laughs> well, there are. There there's, are bad there's guys. Few, there's few of them. You what? Know, legitimately, but like good people, or legitimately... Good, bad yeah, people. good people. For the most part, like, we're in that grey scan in the middle. Yeah, there's a good person, <laughs> but uh, there's very few times when there's a good group of people. That's true. Yeah. The odd good person, yes. Yeah. Um, so, in the end, the Gestapo had heard rumours of his escape route. Yes. Because, obviously, word of mouth. Yes. Uh, they forced a prisoner, yes. Mr. Robert Dreyfus, yes. to approach the escape network, but yes. weirdly vanished. What? Oh, wow. I didn't know why. What a surprise. Eventually, they gave it enough evidence. What could have happened to him? <laughs> they have no idea. 
the, they never uh, got the man himself, though. They got some of his accomplices. Just by torturing the three men uh, that they did guess, his accomplices, they never gained any intel on the resistance. He never... I don't know he was... He wasn't a part of the fucking resistance. That's why. Yeah. Because that's why they didn't get any fucking... Probably, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's never usually a good way of getting around fucking finding out if someone's in the resistance. Not there you go. It. Yeah. Uh, it never. It's. It seemed as though it. It was because they never actually um, occurred to them that they were dealing with a serial killer rather than a people smuggler. Again, this is the thing. It's like again, no background checks. Yeah. No yeah, yeah. background checks. Where would, how would they have done it back then? Though, because no, you didn't you really just have ask people around. Like, you you asked them. Yeah, you don't even move the pad. Everyone around is like, yeah, good luck to you. Oh, good well, luck to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Managed to disappear a load of people. I never saw them again after that. Yeah, yeah, Germans they, definitely never got yeah, them that's either. That's true. The de- Germans definitely never found mm-hmm. them. He must do his job really well. Yeah. Um, until March eleventh, nineteen forty-four. That is. Yeah. Um, when his luck finally ran out, okay. apparently. His neighbours complained to the police of foul smells emanating from his home as well oh, as cool. large... Why do they do that? Why do they always leave a body somewhere? It's like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. It's, it's, like, it's too like, many. It's like me leaving a fucking bowl out somewhere. You know, you some I'd leave a bowl out occasionally. Bowl. Like, you've just finished eating, you've got a bowl. Oh, OK. You leave it out and it's like, oh, I should really deal with that bowl. But you don't do it. You're leaving your butt out. Yeah, well, no. It's like leaving your butt out, though, because you know, it's like you need to get no, rid of it, or you need to hide to, it. Is it you know, no, no, it's not even that. It's something you need to directly clean. Oh, got you, you know, okay. It's like there's a mm. bowl. Oh, no shit, I should deal with the bowl. No, I've not dealt with the bowl. Oh, I'll deal with it tomorrow. It becomes like a week a before you deal with the bowl. You can't yeah. be doing that with a human corpse. That's a different yeah, yeah, thing yeah. entirely. It's like when you have a poo, <laughs> and you're like, I know I should wipe my butt now, yeah. but I can't be bothered. I'll do it later. And then you just keep letting it go yeah, and go and go. And then you've got little bits of dust and white yeah, stuck to it you know yeah. then you get animals kind of yeah. starting their own little society gets, on there and then it gets to the fucking you know the end of the week and you're peeling it off yeah and, and you're like oh I might as well just peel it off and leave it now yeah you take it's, it off it's like basically a cleaned itself yeah it, that's what I reckon yeah that's the, that's the best way around <laughs> it like that um so the they were fearing a fire because of the smoke as well mm-hmm. so they summoned firemen and entered the house yeah. straight away um but they didn't realise they weren't entering a house. They were actually entering a house of horrors. <laughs> house of pain. Oh, no, the pain was already done. Oh, it was just, just the horror of just everything the left in there. Just the horrors. House of smelly just stuff. Some, just some lovely old horror for you. That's how historic mysteries ref- re- uh, refer to it. But I reckon a house of smelly stuff is better. <laughs> house of smelly stuff. Yeah. In the basement were the buried remains of ten people. In a roaring fire of the coal stove were yet more human remains. Jesus. Um, when they inspected the backyard, they found even more remains in a quick lime pit, or whatever that is. Okay. Yeah, quick lime is it's it's one of the things that you sh- shove over bodies to stop them smelling, and it's sort of oh. yeah yeah. Ah, uh, but a big hole with all that stuff then. Yeah. Okay. When they inspect, oh no, um, the house was also full of suitcases, clothing, and personal properties of the victims. I'm guessing the ones that were disappearing yeah. to South America. It's sort of yeah, it breaks it all down as well. As this, this yeah. Uh, the media caught wind of the story and he was dubbed Dr. Satan from then, <laughs> as always is the case. Dr. fucking Satan. Mm-hmm. That is still the most metal serial killer name we've got. Yeah, they're very cool name. Dr. Satan. Naturally, what instantly <laughs> drew me to it, you know. Yeah. And of the video I watched. Uh, but he escaped at this point. What? Stayed hidden for seven months. What? He told his friends that the police had found the bodies of Germans and informers he had killed for the cause. Oh, Christ. So he was, um, they were helping to hide him out, you know, until the liberation of How Paris. How shit were the Germans in this area? There's lots of bodies. No, we don't deal with this. It's fine. That's fine. No, no, no. Was... Oh, look, this man has escaped. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> no, no, he, he told the French people, because I'm guessing the French people were in charge at this point. Um, oh, no, the resistance, that it was... Germans and informers. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, these Germans are fucking inept, man. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, they don't lose by this point. They probably didn't have much motivation, did they? Yeah, probably. They saw where the tide was turning. They probably didn't have too many left either. Yeah. Um, uh, he was finally caught on 31st of October, Halloween, while he was recognised at a Paris metro station. Just going on a train. Probably going to do it again somewhere. Yeah. Um, he believed he could get away with his crimes one last time. At his trial, he repeatedly claimed to have been a member of the resistance, mm. stated the bodies were those of informers and conspirators, which would have been okay, to be fair, by their logic then. He claimed that they had been killed by his allies in the resistance and not even him. 
But he'd run out, um, as he had no allies, and the groups he claimed to have joined had never existed, and the ones that did said, no, 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 he was we, we, he was not with us. What are you talking about? Right. He was eventually convicted of 26 counts of murder. Jesus! And sentenced to death. And I mean, he was... that's the thing again, though. Like, it's definitely not 26. No, it's got to be more. It's was... so much more. 26 was just the one that they had, yeah, like, then. that's what they could prove. <laughs> and this doesn't even take into account, like, the woman from the beginning. Oh, yeah. And if it was, that's probably the others, too, back yeah, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. And people only killed when he was in war the first time. That's the th- Think about that, though. Like, there's people out there killing, like, 70, 80 people throughout their lives. Yeah. That's just yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. that's out there happening. And somebody out there that's killed, like, um, over 200. Yeah. And he's, like, still... They, he's free. Yeah. Like, he's crazy. I mean, that's a fuckload of... That's a fuckload of death per... per yeah. You know. I think it's uh, Germany... Uh, it was the case, I don't know if it still is now, mm. but like a couple of decades ago it was, um, that um, the most you could get for life, life was 10 years, basically. Yeah, yeah. Which, um, 10 years is not life. <laughs> no, no, that's not, not a life by any fucking stretch of the imagination, unless you're maybe a guinea pig. <laughs> uh, it's surprising here still that um, it's March 11th, 1944, when, uh, um, and that's when he got originally done. When did he get... Um, 31st of October 1944 and after the trial mm. it took him until the 25th of May 1946 to be executed so still a lot quicker than over here yeah beheaded getting the guillotine because they were all about that in French life all about that guillotine yo do you know Christopher Lee saw the last beheading in France really yeah Christopher Lee the Christopher Lee the actor who yeah yeah played Sauron not and Sauron I... Saruman yeah it was quite late wasn't it a lot later than people realised yeah 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 did you know they've just done... Because um, they? Fuck off, Jesus. Did you know they've just done the first, the new, um, the first execution with like this new form of, well, a new style of execution yeah. uh, using nitrogen gas. Ooh. Yeah, don't know how they do it, but apparently it wasn't that quick either, I read, but I'm sure he wasn't like, you know, tortured or anything. Yeah. But yeah, nitrogen gas. It's weird considering it's so abundant. Hang on, so no, is it just like they fill the air with nitrogen gas? I don't really know. Because if that, that, that would work. Because, you know... It, it definitely it, works. The only reason you feel like you're actually like running out of breath, like mm. that you need to take a breath in, is because of carbon dioxide. It's like one of the easiest ways to kill yourself is to just stick a fucking mask over your face. Don't do this. <laughs> if you, if, if but basically, provided you've got a gas that isn't, you know, oxygen or sorry, isn't you know carbon dioxide. Yeah. You can just breathe it all day, and you won't, you won't feel the pain. You'll just fall asleep. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, uh, what one was that? Just okay. anything. Oh. You can do it with helium, you can do it with, like, you know, argon. It's like, like carbon dioxide and stuff. Uh, carbon monoxide, sorry. Yeah, it's carbon dioxide. Uh, carbon monoxide will make you sleepy. That's a silent killer one, I've heard yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if you have the same reaction to carbon monoxide, no. which I think is probably one of the reasons why you feel, you know. But yeah, carbon dioxide is the reason why your lungs start to sort of feel burny when you don't take a breath. Okay. Um, You've got too much there. Yeah, but it has, to, it has to be carbon dioxide. It won't detect anything else. It's apparently, um, they use an untested method that they shouldn't have been using, and it was a slow, agonising execution. So, this um, nitrogen gas thing, so maybe it wasn't as good as I thought. First time I've used that, I said, killed one. Excuse me, nitrogen hypoxia. hypoxia. Took around 22 minutes. Oh, shit. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Uh, Fitted with a face mask. He used sign language to say, I love you. Um, tonight, Alabama calls him and, uh, after the nitrogen gas began flowing, he convulsed on the gurney for several minutes. The state had previously said the gas would cause Smith to lose consciousness in seconds and die within minutes. <laughs> Apparently not. Oh dear. Um, no, the body's still going to react to not having oxygen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, I think, uh, let's have a look how long it didn't really go into much more detail. Also, like, you, ca- you can't just put a mask over someone's face because it's still oxygen around them. Well, I wonder yeah. the face mask anyway, they hug onto your face, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, but even then, you're, there's still going to be like uh, enough of a gap for it to come a little oh, bit. No, it's sealed. Necessarily. Yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, you're probably right though, but maybe that's why it was. The thing is, you need to have like, you need to have it really. Fully, really fully, like, fully, sealed. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, because I suppose they normally use like a helmet, like for that kind of thing. Normally, when you need something sealed like that, yeah. like in space or water, I, I think thinking. it's more just I don't trust the the kind of equipment they've had. It would have been made out of anything but plastic. You know. <laughs> I, I don't understand this. Then why they did it if it was so crap? Yeah. What was wrong with the original one? You would knock them out and then yeah. put in that thing to kill them. Yeah. People are always trying to new things for no reason. New things for no reason. But that was pretty much then, right there, the story of Dr. Doctor Satan. Satan. And you can see him here Satan. falling asleep in his trial because, you know, he's a bad man, he didn't care. That's what a serial killer of probably like at least 27 people looks like. When they're basically saying, yep, yeah, you're going to die. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently didn't give a crap. Almost like a sociopath, and yeah. he's got the um, controller, f the fat controller from um, Thomas Tank in behind him. <laughs> he lost a bit of weight at this point, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was the um, average size controller. Yeah. Which, that's you know, a, that's a seriously fucked up fucking situation, though. What, what a been... horrible, horrible man. Yeah, yeah. What a genuinely horrible human being. Yeah. Like, all that, um, I mean, the whole disappearing people has got to be there's probably loads as well yeah i imagine there's got to the there's CN gotta be well. something like that happening in ukraine and probably because like there's yeah. got to be people who are like oh i can get you across the border there's definitely they people that are doing that taking them yeah. across the border and there's probably ones out there there's gonna be making money out of it now this yeah, guy yeah. if he'd thought about it properly if he'd done it right what he could have done he'd done it at all yeah he could have fucking yeah. taken people apart taken their organs and sold the organs on <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, do transplants and shit. Maybe there wasn't that much of a oh, market. Oh, there wasn't really transplants at the time, though, was there? I don't know about transplants necessarily. Yeah. I don't know the first. Um, no, that's what they do now. Think so, that's what people really do do now. There are yeah, people yeah. who are literally, you know, fucking say to a bunch of people, "Oh yeah, I can get you out of the country," yeah, yeah, yeah. and they just cut them open and take the bits and sell them on. You got like cooler stuff now. You got more like tech to keep it cooler now, ain't you? Yeah. Um, oh, you seen that the. I don't know why I thought that you'd find this quite interesting. Um, the AI that's finally like, been used by science to like create a new, uh, and it's very fucking off, very random considering we're just talking about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but and the AI like, went through loads of different things and managed to figure out a material that would be like 70% more conducive than lithium. Oh yeah, yeah, as a battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they've been trying to do it for ages. Because there's yeah. this thing you can do where you can basically turn individual atoms of like graphene, I think it's graphene, mm. into basically a, a capacitor. <clears throat> yeah. And that means you can have. It's not a huge charge. It's only like a single electro, you know, whatever charge. But the fact is that that's per atom across yeah. the entire thing and there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of atoms yeah yeah um and i think that's basically i think that's what it's it's like a lot like of trial and error from what i heard yeah like it's just they've been like you said they've been trying to do it but it's just each time they do it it's like does it work okay yeah. whereas a computer can like apparently it was something about like years of stuff in like a couple of weeks or something yeah, yeah, yeah. Still took a yeah. while, but yeah, the uh, the AI will take over, and there's one more way. Ah, I don't know if it'll take over. Oh, there's, it will eventually. So yeah. there's this theory that that AI is basically it's like uh, it's like a, a butterfly. So humanity is essentially the the caterpillar that then the butterfly of AI yeah, yeah, evolves yeah. out of. Yeah, and there's only really one way that you can draw like. You know, actually beat AI, quote unquote, and that's to join with it. That's to become. Oh, turn it off. Yeah, it's never gonna work. No, I know. Yeah. Because then, and it'll always come back around. There's, there's well. so many people saying like, oh yeah, there's people already breaking every rule that we've got about AI, and we don't have that many rules. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, so it's quite easy then. Mm. I mean, whoever did Chaos GPT, you was the one that's already broken that rule. Yeah, that was stupid. Like, I mean, we hear about this. I mean, for all we know, that could just be a uh, a story. Oh no, that's real. I mean, you do. We see, oh, there was evidence of it. Actually, yeah, yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's an existing thing. You can find it. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, realistically, you'd imagine you could create something that would be more powerful than that and could go and kill it, mm. like an assassin, mm. like a AI assassin. Well, that's the thing. They they they, they did do it as a AI sort of, to to create an AI that could then analyse what it was trying to do and come up with you know counters to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially, what they were doing. Um, 
but even then, I mean, come on. I mean, uh, AI is so fucking dangerous if it's used wrong. But the thing is, it's never. There's there's no way it's not going to be used wrong. You know? Yeah, it's a tool that's the thing, and it and it, just, it depends. Like, did you see a robot killed a person for the first time ever? No. Yeah, in Detroit. No. How police, was it? A police robot killed a person. In what way? It was, like, it was like in a in a hostage situation or something like that. It was one of the robo dogs or something, mm. and it literally it shot a, shot a person and killed it. Jeez, no. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even know they were using things like that. Pretty sure they kill the suspect. Yeah. Do you want to see what it looks like? That was shooting. Uh, believed to be first. In oh, just like that, Jesus. Like that, yeah. Uh, how the hell does that sneak up on you? Police is lethal use of a bomb disposal robot. Said he creates grey only use of deadly. What? Quite exposed to calling the first time in history. US police have used a robot in a show of lethal force. Yeah. Dallas police use a bomb disposal robot with an explosive device on its manipulator arm to kill a suspect after five police officers were murdered. Seven of us were wounded. So they were like, yeah, let's fucking kill this yeah, guy. Let's buddy. get this guy out. Yeah. Right, we're done. Yeah. We saw no other option but to use our bomb robot and place the device on its extent. I mean, I, ch I guess. <laughs> not the worst idea. It's not. It couldn't get near to him because he was shooting them all off. Send a robot in. That's the first time that a robot's killed a civilian. Wow. That's so shocking. But, I mean, we say that though, but I don't know if I really class that as a robot. Yeah, it's... Because it, it's yeah. remote controlled. Yeah. You can literally see it here. Like, it's not even a long wire. I'm guessing it's a long wire. The thing wire is, now. it's like, when, when do you call... A moratorium on it, or do you like? Do you allow mm -hmm. a robot to start doing that autonomously? Well, do you have to give a kill command? But other than that, it can go away and get on with it. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, where's where's the line on this? Because we're going to be starting to come up against that pretty quick. Well, that would be the idea of like an AI system within it, where you tell that what to do, wouldn't it? Yeah, but the thing is, I, I don't want to give an AI a gun ever. That's, that's the idea that though, we're going dangerous and it's... Like, we've yeah. all seen fucking Terminator, right? We know how this goes. Well, I mean, we have technology. We still have plenty of technology that isn't hooked up to internet that could fuck up most stuff. Like your guns, your bombs, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like your nukes, that's can, a different story. It can fuck up a part of it, but, like, these AIs... Excuse me. Sorry, could find their way into a system. They could find their way into a... a, a you know, into databases and find out information that they then can pass on, and then mm -hmm. they can, you know, it's like the Ultron thing, basically, <laughs> where you know it can it can become part of a different system and you know, yeah, yeah, sort yeah, of zipping around, and yeah. It is very much like that to be fair. When you think of AI, it is very Ultron-y. Mm -hmm. Like Ultron is kind of like the blueprint for what AI, the bad side of AI, could be. Yeah. Um, to, to the point of making its own body, like if it becomes that, that's exactly a perfect analogy. Actually, yeah. is Ultron because yeah. uh, it could literally evolve to that point. We literally could be fighting an Ultron. The thing is, we just give it a normal body that can just like move things and make things. Yeah. And then it uses that body to make a better body that can then make a better body that can then make a better body that can then make yeah. a better body and then. And would it even need a body per se yeah. like that? And it can start upgrading not only its body but its mind. And start going well. I yeah, yeah, of course. Like better processing power if I did this, yeah. and this, and this, and this. Start so upgrading itself constantly, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. Like we saw that even from the small bits on that um, chat GPT when it was just like updating this stuff and that yeah. over and over. Uh, yeah, that's fuck that though. Yeah. I, I I don't really see it being that much of an issue myself. I don't think it's going to be an issue immediately. In, um, yeah, in the it's, long. It's when it, it's when we start allowing. AI to, to have physical bodies. I physical think there'll be other stuff that'll get in the way well, long before that. Yeah. Um, I think ultimately as yeah. well, people worry about AIs taking down like governmental systems and stuff. But if an AI tries to get into a government system and you know it, it sort of <laughs> it succeeds in any way at all, everyone's just gonna go right, shut everything down, bam. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Like you, you have all these fail safes though, don't you? Like yeah, if you yeah. need to shut, like you think about it like a submarine, they've yeah. got like compartments where they can shut this door to stop any water getting to the next lots, yeah, exactly. go as they go. It's the same kind of thing in a sense. Yeah. I mean, I totally forgot what I was talking about as I was saying it. <laughs> I'm still trying to remember now, but it sounds like I remember. It sounds like it. it I give off that illusion. It is the most important yeah. thing. Sounding like you know stuff. 
I mean, while I'm at it, though, I will just point out this as well. I was watching something about the 70s mm. the other day, um, like last week or something, and it's just focusing on... It was like a documentary, like a true crime kind of thing, yeah. uh, just focusing on LA in the 70s and how many... It was like going in between... Like, imagine a giant map of LA, yeah. and it was going through, like, all the active serial killers at one time. That's fucking crazy, oh, man. Oh, shit. Okay, LA is mental. Yeah, it took me a while to process what you meant. There. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just from the ones I noted down here, you had the Sunset Killers, yeah. the Hillside Strangler, the Freeway Killer, the Toolbox the Killers, and the, the Dating Game Killer, the guy that we covered. Yeah, there's so many people who go to LA because they want to become a star or this or that or the other. Yeah, that's probably and part of it. they fall bit. through the cracks a little bit. And some, there's so many homeless people in LA who... Now, especially. Yeah. Ridiculous now yeah, from what yeah. I've seen. And it's, like, it's, it's a perfect hunting ground for a fucking a serial killer. Yeah, so yeah. serial killers will go there. Yeah. And a lot of serial killers It wasn't killers so much like it back then. That yeah. was more about the smush that was around there. It's also weird, though, how many serial killers have this thing where they want to be famous. Initially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they actually, yeah. You know, they're musicians or they're actors. Yeah, yeah. You'll find out that they had a bit part on this like serial drama before they end up killing a local yeah, people yeah. or something. Uh, like, I saw exactly one like that, like a musician the other day that killed someone. I can't remember what it was yeah. or something. But yeah, it's like you said, yeah, they wanted yeah, to know Surprisingly often, mm-hmm. it's like it, the thing is, they want to be famous, but they don't have the switch to tell them, oh, well, killing people isn't the way you should do that. Um, like, oh well, I could kill people. <laughs> I mean, necessarily, some of them tried other things first, but yeah. the fact that knowing that's a choice in your head is kind of like, well, okay, yeah. you're yeah. yeah There's right. something wrong there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like just having it there. Yeah. I mean, I get the opinion, the idea of wanting to naff off some people sometimes. Yeah, don't get me yeah, wrong. Don't get me wrong. Some but people don't deserve life sometimes. Yeah, 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 but that's not. But that I'm that's not the one to do it. No. <laughs> no. Someone else can do that. No. That should be done by a jury of their peers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with ni- with nitrogen <laughs> over 22 minutes. Humanely, of course. Humanely, yeah. yeah. It's good, crazy, though, man. The amount at one point, though. Uh, yeah, there was ones I'd never heard of in there. And there were ones that I forgot to note down as well. Uh, yeah, just because back then, and it was a lot of like falling between the cracks. And people, even in like the, even in just LA, yeah. some of the different police departments that around, even them not like collaborating with each other, you know. Yeah. It, it, computers, man, it's craziness. We don't realise how much they helped us. Yeah. People say like there's more killings now than ever before. It's like and from the seventies onwards, it's like maybe there were just as many before. It's just we didn't notice as much. Yeah. Because funny enough, as soon as they started, yeah, that's, you're, you're you're almost certainly right. Though. Yeah, yeah. Because definitely. Again, we've we've already seen through like this entire fucking thing has just been basically a lack of fucking checking shit before you do stuff. So. Mm. And that's gonna have happened across the fucking board everywhere. It's just like, well, this guy was there, yeah, but he seems like a fine, upstanding citizen. We won't look into it any further. When if they looked into it a little bit, yeah, it's like, a little tiny a bit. bit. Do- that's a bit dodgy. Yeah. Okay, this guy's definitely dodgy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how that sometimes you'll see something or hear about something that you're like, well, that's got to be a murderer. Yeah. Someone's definitely done a murder there. Yeah. But then you're like, oh, it's really not. Yeah. Like, um, I can't remember what country it was. Oh, it was America. I can't remember whereabouts it was. But um, there was that thing about they kept finding like feet in jogging shoes, like washing up in the shore and that, yeah. still in the shoes, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. amputated feet. Yeah. And everyone was like, oh, well, someone's just killing people and throwing their feet out or something. <laughs> yeah. But it seemed as though it was always joggers that had somehow fell into the water or killed themselves or something, and then they decompose. And when their foot eventually come off because they decompose quicker in the water, and because of the air in a jogger shoe, oh, he floated up. Oh, yeah. fuck's sake. That's and they're like, horrible. That's why it's always the jogging shoes, though, and the running shoes and yeah. that, because they so have they the air. They just happen to die. They just happen to die. But their feet have just bobbed up to the surface. Yeah. Oh, And God. naturally gone pushed ashore. Oh. The crazy things that you'd look I've at. I've never seen that thing. There's something online where someone goes, like, every... The, what, you wouldn't get into a swimming pool if it had a dead body in it. But you're willing to get into the ocean, which is full of like lots of dead bodies. Very true. Very so true. humans have a body to to water ratio that they are willing to accept. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't like going in the ocean at all. The ocean scared like me. I used to go in the ocean as a kid. Same. But like, don't know what, how I, we did that. I don't. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, the ocean is fucking scary. There's so man. many fucking horrible things just in the fucking ground in the ocean. In the ground, I never thought about what's in the ground. Yeah, yeah, there's like little like wormy things and like sharks. Oh, yeah, they're cool though. 
And there's also like, ma- like what is it, the mantis crab or, or mantis shrimp or whatever? Have you ever seen that fucker? Vaguely. It can punch about. so hard, it's like a fucking magnum round. That is, punch. it's the same force as a, force as a magnum round. Yeah, I don't really recognise oh, yeah. that. I thought there was some little tiny things mantis trying to get snuck in. Search mantis shrimp punch. <laughs> it sounds like something that should be on Pokemon. There you go, mantis shrimp punch, first one. Oh, uh, some kind of Pokemon thing. No, no, they're terrifying. Oh, it had to be him naturally. I want to hear what you're sponsored by. I do like this. Surprise on this kind of stuff. Look, how long did it take for him to get to get to that fucking punch? I mean, it's a YouTube video, you know. He's investigating him. Look, he's touching him. It's surprising with when he has spiders on this. How much? Um, you have to like force the uh, spider to actually bite you. Yeah. Yeah. Takes so much, like you know, you have to really fuck with him for a while. That they just don't want to bite you. It's really surprising. It's such a stupid thing this guy does. It's good though. I'm a fan of it. What's he doing there, Gene? <laughs> God, man, he's like, he's like. <laughs> I don't even want to know what to say to that. But a fishy two fingers, you know. Looks like he's been doing something else in it. Thing is, it, it, it. There's a there's a video somewhere of a guy getting a mantis shrimp that whacks him in his foot and he just pours blood. Really? Yeah. This size one? Yeah. It, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, they're very, very strong. They can crack glass with their punch. Are they actually going to fucking do anything? Because they're just going to eat right now, though. <laughs> it looks funky. See, he's not, he's not punching you, though. He's just eating. No this is ridiculous. Yeah, what does he expect to happen here? Just piss it off. Get my two <laughs> fingers back really in there. Come on, dude. What? No, go away. Oh, it's a long ring. Oh, I didn't mean to turn it off, but. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Why is it so hard to find? Okay, here you go, look. It's not hitting a person, but it's hitting something. That's in slow motion. Yeah, it's in slow motion. Oh, wow. It's hard to really. He's trying to punch his prey, weren't he? Yeah. See that again. That's a punch in slow mo. Jesus, okay. <laughs> like one frame, weren't it? Yeah. That's craziness. They are, for, like, genuinely, phenomenally, like, fast punches. Yeah. That's and put one of them the again. Same force as a, as a, 30, a 30 cent magnum, or whatever it is, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to see a punch a person. Well, of course, it's in such a, it's in a tiny area, but it's yeah. still hitting you with that force, and it's going bang into your flesh. Yeah, if it's a tiny area, but it does that amount of force, though, it could probably be even worse. Well, there really. is, there is. When a mantis shrimp punches a human, force oh. hurts. Is he gonna, oh, he's going to like catch him and then bring him over. Yeah. Oh, that is. Yeah. I think he's already done it. Yeah. There he is. Mm. <laughs> this is... This is the... T- it's so small. Yeah, yeah, it's poison. When did he game? Oh. Better than getting to your butthole. That could have been, if his foot weren't there, that could have been his butthole. Yeah. That's great, he's just a little, he went through his shoe in that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, then my foot was exactly. Look at that slash going on as well. Yeah. Okay, now you didn't tell me you had razor blades in the boxing glove. 
I think that's illegal. Huh. Not venomous or anything. No, just fucking vicious. You're lucky, yeah. That's a cool boat. Yeah, man, it's just the ocean, man. The ocean fucking... It's creepy. Yeah. Like... You know, we... That's why we've been there as well, actually. Hmm. There's a reason that we... Look um, at the fucking hole! Sure. There's a reason that we came out of the ocean, you know. We're not designed for it. No. Jeez. Look at that! Proper... And that's deep. Yeah, that's well. a proper, like, that's you know... That's um, in his foot. Fuck, you know, yeah. Uh, proper puncture wound, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah, they're vicious little shits, man. They're really nasty. See, the stuff in the ocean, man. The stuff in the ocean is crazy. Yeah. And he's just chilling now. What's he... Oh, he's dead. Oh, is he dead? Yeah, he's, he's suffocating. Oh, they need to breathe water, yeah. to some of them. Yeah, you bitch. Look at the amount of blood just pouring out of his fucking foot. Ridiculous, man. See, so, yeah, I Ridiculous. bet they... It's crazy. It must be crazy for, like, a fish or, like, um... Something being pulled out into a world with... Yeah, just oxygen. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like fucking... It's like total recall. <laughs> That's crazy enough to know. <laughs> octopuses, man. Octopuses are amazing. Octopuses are fantastic. Which are the maze bits. I don't think I can eat octopus anymore. I never really tried. I, I never tried it before. But I, I wanted to at one point, but I don't think I can now, because I know they're smart. Yeah, just through, that. actually, yeah. <laughs> as long as they died naturally, then I could do. Like the people I was saying before, you know, if you had a dog and it died naturally, I wouldn't be... It's not the worst thing in the it's world the to eat this. If you're in a desperate situation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, these people aren't. When we was on about um, China uh, making yeah, it illegal. Yeah. No, South Korea made it illegal. What is he trying to do? Oh, yeah, he's figuring out his thing again. Because that's the thing, they can figure out loads of stuff. They're oh, so yeah, smart. They also recognise different humans. Really? They identify different humans. Um, they know they can fuck with people as well. I, I, it's yeah. a story I've told before as well, like the one where the octopus didn't like the food that they were giving them. So, like, they gave them food in the tank. They oh, wow, and they he's pushing it. They it into the disposal whilst staring at them. Look at this, look what he does in a minute. Which is not even that, that's impressive, but this next bit really pushes it out with the bar, look. Yeah. See, it kind of. Levers it, yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, they're like nothing else, are yeah, they? There's, is... there's nothing quite like them apart from like cuttlefish and, and squid, but they're nowhere near as smart. It's interesting, look. A map of what evolved from what. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm trying to see where their own thingy were. Right. Yeah, I remember seeing that squid, yeah. that giraffe has many vertebrates as well. Oh, they all do? Yeah, all Everything mammals does. do. Yeah. Oh. Almost all mammals take a piss at roughly the same amount of time as well. A piss? Yeah. Really? Yeah, all mammals <laughs> piss roughly for about 20 seconds. I suppose it's because we're land animals yeah, and we want to run away from things, I guess. Mm -hmm. And we're not pissing where we swim. It'd be like um, pissing gas, I suppose, yeah. if we did the same as fingies. Yeah, I don't need to know about what it's DNA yeah. shit. But yeah, that's, that's you know, that's that. <laughs> that's that. That's that motherfucker. That's some crazy man. Like they are proper awesome things. They're fucking. They're so cool. I love octopuses. Octopi. Octopodes. Octopides. They're almost as shocking as um. They're almost as shocking as a Mean Girls reboot. I thought they were almost as shocking as. Oh yeah. Full on musical. There's nothing to do. That's it. Said and done. Cause screw that. I've never fucking seen the first one. What? Yeah. Oh, well, that's a travesty. <laughs> that's a travesty right there. Yeah. Mean Girls is like a, um, a it's like a staple. It's a yeah, staple yeah, of yeah. like growing up for our generation. So is American Pie though. You not seen that? Oh, I love American Pie. Oh yeah, American Pie. more so than American yeah. Pie. Uh, American Pie was more yeah, so. Yeah, American than... Pie is the series. Yeah. If you haven't seen American Pie. Oh yeah, the series one totally. That's problem. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, no. like you said, to, it's you serious. Need to educate yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 oh, look at the freaking um. I forgot what they're called now, sinkholes. Oh my god, fucking sinkholes, man. I can't think Oh, I think they care as we had to talk to the thing. Yeah. I know. I know, I know. So many people with so many eyes, I don't know where they got them. 
They've all got six, which isn't normal. Where the hell did they get the other ones? Boom. Mm. It's a weird song. It's a weird song I just sang. What was that? It's a weird song I just sang. You sang a weird song? Yeah, yeah. You just sang a weird song, but you... I know. Oh god, I had to like properly like, I kind of push myself into here. Yeah. Like kind of, <laughs> you're more chill now. You were just lying down, weren't you? On, um, under mother's bed. Well, on, on a chest as well. Yeah. Jump for my love. Jump yeah. in. I've become a cat man now though. I still like my dogs, but I understand the appreciation of cats a lot more now. Cats are really easy and they're fun. They are easy, yeah. They've got their own little personalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think dogs do more too, but I like the um, indifference as well. Yeah. That was one thing Spike had, like he was very indifferent to the world, yeah. like nothing really bothered him. Yeah. That's the thing about cats, it's like cats will only come and say hello if they actually want you, want yeah. to come and say hello. Which makes you feel like good when they do come say hello. Mm-hmm. Hey buddy, you smell my shoes again. That's fine. Yeah, when they actually come to your properly, like, yeah. the amount of times, like I said, I was woken up and she was just like there on me, because I'm a deep sleeper too. Yeah. Just, apparently she like, uh, will like come and sit like on my head and then go back and I don't even notice kind of thing or yeah. if she's running around and I'm in there on a day in a day or something you just like jump over my head I had no idea I never woke up or anything but. see I'm a really light sleeper so that'd definitely wake me up ah, <laughs> you'd, have to, you'd have to put it right down I'm, I'm sweet like that yeah. as soon as I'm asleep I'm not waking up the only thing that wakes me up is myself yeah. I can say to sleep like you know um, I don't know why I'm looking at that I can say to sleep uh, like you know I'm, I'm a deep sleeper sorry but um, lately, man, I, I can only go for like three hours and then I'm awake again, like I wake back up. Yeah. St- it's really hard. My insomnia, I guess is a good way to put it, yeah. is proper I've, like I've been flared at the moment. Yeah, I've not been going for enough exercise, that's the problem. I used to go for walks quite a lot, but since I've sort of moved into the new place, mm. I've not really done it. Which you reckon that can be part of it? Oh, definitely, yeah. I, I, I really need to get some exercise in, otherwise my sleep really starts to get fucked with. Maybe that's like, because I haven't been able to go out as much lately as well, which means I'm not been walking long well, I mean, journeys it, it as it much, so maybe that, yeah, yeah. that might be part of it. if you're walking as well, you're out in the sunshine, and the sun sort of gives you vitamin D, uh, and then that resets your brain to go like, well, I've been in the daytime, so it's night time will come soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I normally do it at night anyway, but I know what you mean. I walk up to the shops and stuff, I would sleep, because I'm, yeah, yeah every fucking super expensive though. Um, yeah, I should start like maybe exercising a bit more again. I'm going to buy this um, weight set, the one that I bought uh, my oldest son, just because he said it's quite good as well. Yeah. So I'm going to get muscle there with him. I'm muscle like, come on, dude, we'll do this together. Get muscle. There. He's always wanted to do it since he was a little bubba. Yeah. And now he's a bit older, like he's actually going through puberty now. I'm like, now you can, mate. Yeah, now you actually start doing this. Yeah, yeah actually start, you know, working now. Be gentle now. at start. Don't, don't overdo it to begin with. Wait yeah, till yeah, you're yeah. Like, properly adult before you start doing deadlifts and shit. But yeah. I mean, realistically, I hear people say that you should, um, no one should ever really do a deadlift. Oh, no, you absolutely should. It's just that okay. people, people... The reward to, um, like, the risk, risk reward, ratio yeah, is that's, no that, again, good. That's, that's, that, the thing is, when people say that, what they're normally talking about is they're talking about people who are overloading to try and become like powerlifters and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, just trying to do too much yeah, in one go. Yeah, for the most part, you shouldn't be fucking doing that. Like, but a deadlift is a very good, very healthy n- manoeuvre to do. You don't have to put like a shitload of weight on it. You can just do a good deadlift. Yeah, yeah. And that's fine. Yeah, because you can't, it is quite a lot anyway, isn't it though? Like, it's more than normal. Like, yeah. the man you lift on that. Well, I mean, I used to do a lot of deadlifts, and I mm. used to find that my back usually felt better afterwards if I did it the right way. Yeah. You know, and the thing is, it, a lot of people just forget it's it's about form when mm. it comes to to working out. And there's so many people who overweight themselves because they think they can do it because they're going like and ganking their body in all sorts of directions to try and get a muscle done, which doesn't help in the long run anyway because you're not trying to to just move the most amount of stuff. You're trying to move the smallest amount of weight you can yeah. to get the largest amount of effect from it. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to isolate the muscle. You're not trying to fucking put your whole body weight into every fucking rep. 
you know, you're supposed to be isolating your bicep. Isolating yeah, yeah, yeah. Bicep. You know, I was trying to kind of explain that to Max, like when he was doing sit ups. Yeah. I was like, um, you know, you don't need to go all the way up and all the way down and find where it is. Where it hurts. That does it, it and keep it there. Yeah. yeah. And never rest fully, never go all the way down. Yeah, yeah. But uh, sit ups can be really good. It's, I used to be like really good. I had a good core and that, but it's just, unless you're um, properly trying with like your nutrition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or your nutrition, yeah, I mean, because yeah. the, the body fat for. Um, Having like your abs, abs really, yeah. you need like fuck all, man. I I, although the thing is, like, when I was at my best when I was going to the, to the gym, I did have like the top abs bit, you know, mm. like the the sort of little bit there and the bit there. I, yeah, I yeah. still had a bit of belly underneath it, but I think that's. I don't think it's it's natural to get rid of all of the belly. You know, it's no not. Reason. It's not. You have to do far too much, like in my opinion, like. It's not healthy for you. You're actually pushing yourself into an unhealthy yeah. position by doing that. You won't feel good, any for sure. No. Oh, uppies. Oh, oh, oh. oh darling. Oh, darling. If you want. Do you want to see something? I've been waiting to see this. Um, a rap song with Ben Shapiro in it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Obviously, you won't be able to play oh, this on the finger. Jesus Christ. I really don't. I don't. Oh, no. I want to hear this. I mean, I don't know how... I love this rapper, Tom O'Donnell. Yeah. A really good rapper. I just have no idea how this is going to work. I mean, Ben Shapiro is not only, you know, he's done this, he's a rap star, and he's also a um, film star as well, in Lady Ballers. Yeah. It was essentially a real life Lady Ballers, but for um, the, oh, what was it, the, uh, what's it called? The Special Olympics. <laughs> One of them, there was, um, I got that here somewhere. Where is it? A Spanish intelligence disabled Paralympic basketball team. Um, won the golds really easily, apparently too easily, because two of the team members didn't have any kind of disabilities. <laughs> they were stripped of the titles. Hey, buddy. And Canada created a gaydar machine. Did they? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Mm-hmm, back in the day. I don't think it worked, but... <laughs> someone else created a gay bomb as well, apparently. A gay bomb? Mm-hmm. That turns everyone gay? Apparently. Turns the freaking frogs gay! <laughs> no, 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 you're on the PlayStation again. Yeah, take off that. You can pick her up, she won't mind. Well, let's put this on and let's see what this is like. Is that can, this can, you know, actually, um, for this one, I'm also going to put a thingy on now. She will do that. She has a fan. Uh, I'll do window capture, okay. You are sorry. No, she's trying to. Puss on you a bit now. Yeah, yeah she liked you, I think. Yeah. Quite Weird cat. Mm. Well, I'm gonna put the thing on for this to do like a little reaction thing to it, you know, yeah. at the same time while we're going. Might as well. Did I tell you what I'm gonna? I haven't told you actually what I'm gonna start doing with the um, uh, the new little project. I'm gonna do like a new version of the quiz off. Yeah. I'm gonna. Well, it's gonna be called. It's gonna be called um, like KD quizzing or something like that. But it'll be like, I'll rather than having to get like four people at once, you know, like to do it like for an hour or whatever. I get everybody can do it separately if they need to. Yeah. And I'll do like one round slash question in each video. So oh, like yeah. edited down, it'll be like just um, like a round of. Um, list it or a round of actual questions or something yeah. and it'll just be whoever wins that one like you know i'll do it with four different people um and then i'll just go back and let them know who won or something bring the winner back on you know like and do record a quick little couple of minutes with them it's an interesting way of doing it yeah it work um so i can kind of like edit it together and stuff more so just to be a bit easier to do and as soon as i've got a bit more time i can have like four episodes like worked out of the questions and that so that when i talk to somebody and start recording with them if they've got a bit more time, I can do like all four rounds with them, so that then I've got them in the bank and I can do some, find some other people to do it with each time, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I know you were struggling to listen to that while having the cat trying to fuss on you. She probably like chills, don't she, man? She's a chill cat. All right, then let's have let's have a listen to this. Then this is Tom McDonald and Ben Shapiro. I 
to it. Actually, you know, I'm gonna uh, turn the desktop audio back up. Actually, put that quiet. Oh, the mic audio isn't even on this side. Ah, that's crashed. Have you um, stroke the cat's head there? Actually, I don't need the mic audio. Like that. Actually, this, this is, is for the reaction now. Because I can't be able to put it on here. Because I feel like it might screw it up. If you stroke a cat's head like that. Hmm. Makes them think that you're their mother. Oh, okay. That's what mums do. <laughs> like, where have you been all this time, mama? Okay, then let's have a, let's have a little listen then to this property now. There we go. I do like him. He's got a really good flow. He looks like a weirdo. Mm. <laughs> I can already tell why Ben Shapiro is in this one. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Just look though, he's got like no rhythm whatsoever. Did you see that? His yeah. face and that. Like, <laughs> look at him. It's so like, it so does, does not work. I thought he was going to be doing a little bit of bopping or something. But he would look stupid if he was doing it, but that just made the song look dumb. Oh, he's on the tellies now. Oh, that's a bit better. Waving from the tellies. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, I've heard much worse. Yeah. It wasn't great. I it's bet some people... Someone doing a fucking AI version of a, of a song, wasn't Yeah. Very little passion to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that kind of works with him, though. Yeah. The only way he could have done it is, like, pretty much he was just talking. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm surprised, though. I thought he was just going to be in the, in the video. I didn't think he'd actually be singing anything. Yeah. He must be singing in the chorus, too. I do like the whole facts don't care about your feelings though. Yeah. The thing I, I agree. He's, he's, he's quite regularly put up things that like, he said are, I don't care about your facts, you know, these are facts, and then he's been proven wrong and then he's been like, ah, oh, do 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 yeah. do And he talks about that as well, but he's very fucking emotional about stuff sometimes too. Yeah. yeah but, no, I, I generally agree with a lot of these anti-PC people all the time. Yeah. I agree with a lot of his stuff, but I'm not into the religion and all that. Yeah. And I don't vehemently hate every, every all the stuff like a lot of them do. Mm -hmm. I don't fully agree with trans and all that, as we know. Um, I don't hate them, they do what they want, but he, he like hates them. Yeah. A lot of them lot. Hey, like, Yo, chill out a little bit. Your cat's so cute. I thought you said my hat then. Yeah. I know. <laughs> You know, I've got to go back and listen to that rap again, that verse. I've got to do it. I've got to do it, because it was just... <laughs> as well I don't care if I offend I appreciate that I'm gonna start making more um, songs on YouTube too people normally like them yeah. everyone did okay so I've had like some of the others written as well that I just haven't done yet like I've got um, um, a version of locked up uh, blocked up 
Cause I'm blocked up, I can't flush it down. It's all about, you know, needing a shit. <laughs> I think, you know, it's an important thing for all of us. We all need a shit sometimes. Oh, well, that surprised me that he was doing that. I didn't expect him to be rapping along with it. Yeah, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, did you? That was an interesting one. Just stop that. <laughs> what time you got to? Oh, what's time am I? Ten, well, just almost ten to three. Yeah, probably Matilda's finishing work early, so she's going to be probably... Ooh, do you want to go down? Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're just a sound cat, don't worry. You're just a sound. Some new sounds, anyway, I guess. Yeah. Sound shedding. And I know that those sudden kind of sounds scare them. That's what you want to do. She's been naughty or something. You make one of those sudden sounds like that. Yeah. And she's like, oh, okay. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah. No. I. I should probably. I should probably shoot off sooner rather than later. Um, oh, okay. Okay. What were we on? What were we on? We've done. Yeah, well, an hour mind. fifty. We can we can watch. Ah. We can do one more little thing before I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. We can do one more we little do, thing. We can do a little. We can do a little time out. You know? What was the um like the subject you were going to do today? Or did you want to tell me? I can't. So remember. yeah, basically, one of the things I've been thinking about is there's loads of celebrities out there who do poetry. <laughs> right. On the side for some fucking reason, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to get poetry. Rate it and see if you could guess, guess who which it is. celebrity oh, okay. it was out of like a you know. A Give me like a choice, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah multiple choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got like four. You have to yeah. one that was yeah. You got to do like or or. or if it's easier to give me a clue as well. Yeah, you know, exactly. To my dear. Yeah, yeah, just to see if, yeah. if you can if you can get it. We'll make it make a game out of it. Then yeah. that's a lot more fun. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Just uh, you got to make sure you inc include uh, Kalilas at some point. Oh yeah. yeah she'd be crazy some yeah. of I read some of hers. Yeah, 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 yeah. That woman man, I would not be surprised to learn in like a couple of decades that she killed someone. Probably walking around something. Oh it's a top of them. Yeah, I was just always playing with them. <laughs> Constantly playing with them. Oh, did you see that um Alex Baldwin got charged of manslaughter? Oh yeah, I meant to see this. Who's Alex Baldwin. Alex, Bo Alex, Alex Baldwin. Alex Baldwin. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Um, yeah, but I meant to say this when we were talking about uh, the armies and stuff and it'd be more like drones and stuff mm -hmm. that would be fighting rather than us. Uh, they got lasers now. Oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, to take down drones. Yeah, yeah, got yeah. full on lasers. Yeah. They were used as well, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, brought down they a flying drone. They in a battleship because there's nothing else that can... Yeah. Well, not a battleship, but you know, a, a, a warship because there's nothing else Big fuck off ship. fucking battery. Yeah, they're giant, aren't they? I need to think if you have well, a actually, I think it might even be a nuclear... Vessel, I could imagine case, it. That's where they're getting the power yeah, from. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you can do that, can't you? Oh, like, yeah. Because yeah. that's what powers the ship as well. Yeah, I know. Lots yeah. Of they power the, sh the yeah. submarine, don't they? Yeah, because the nuclear yeah. submarines as well, they can stay down for basically as long as they want to, provided they've got food. Yeah, okay. Um, is that what the nuclear sub is then? It's just powered by the nuke. They, they don't actually have they nukes they on have, them, do they, they? No, they have a nuclear reactor on board. Yeah. They, quite a lot of them are also nuclear missile bearing subs. Oh because yeah. Of course, they can just be out there for as long as possible. They could be wherever they want to be, and you'd have no idea. And they could just launch a nuclear strike from basically wherever in the world. It's kind of weird. Do, do, they don't. Do they come out? They don't come out of the water, yeah, do they? Yeah. Yeah. And not to launch, no. Yeah, they just, just straight out of the water. Oh, yeah, okay. so, yeah. No, I don't mean yeah. the boat. I mean no, the yeah, yeah, torpedo. Yeah, it the, goes out of the water. Yeah, yeah. So oh. they're underneath the water. They'll fire a, a launch. It'll go up. Then it'll sort of unpack once it reaches the top of the water. And oh, fire. oh, well, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah I thought it was like a torpedo kind of thing. More. No, no, no. Fuck it, no. no, no. We it have some amazing. Ends, mate, intercontinental ballistic missiles. What? Intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM. Oh, there's a few of these things here I'd forgotten about. The more newer stuff. Um, what's that? Oh no, I don't know. Exoplanets. What was that thing about the fucking the Wuhan lab leak thing being being one hundred percent proven? Yeah, yeah, it's just proven now. How <laughs> Did you not watch the thing? No. Oh, well, there was a news thing. I can't remember exactly what the stuff was. Um, it's just the people, one of the governing bodies of that kind of stuff, just saying that it had to have couldn't been this and it had to have come from that. They're basically saying without saying it that it was a lab leak. Yeah, it couldn't have happened naturally. No. Yeah, it didn't happen. There was no way it happened. It wasn't a natural. Yeah. Uh, it was hundred percent. Um, it was a you know creative it's been thing. Modified at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, you can figure that out anyway, though, just by the idea that, you know, it hasn't got resistance. You know, it's SARS multiple times yeah. in outbreaks, and it's never spread that far. Mm -hmm. That was so, a ridiculously quick spread. And it was, um, uh, from what I remember as well, it's part um, American-owned as well, yeah. that it was from, uh, which is why, you know, like, shockingly, it's been covered up a lot, and yeah. still this has been, like, that's received no traction at all, this lab leak thing. I'll figure out exactly what the stuff was maybe for next time we can go a bit more um, a bit in depth in it yeah because I can't remember it now and I like to know the full detail. I put that thing on Facebook the video hoping that people would watch it too but yeah, yeah I'm sure that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. I don't really go on Facebook that much anymore. The only things That's I really same. look at on Facebook are things to do with Mama. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I might go on, uh, let me show you the beginning actually. I wish there was a good alternative, but like, X is just fucking falling apart. Yeah, I've never gone to it. No. I still haven't got a video. Yeah. No. Do you want to see the beginning of, um, it took a while to get this done in the end, but this is the beginning of um, the E-Gears award show that we did the other day, or that I brought out the other day, and I'm just quite happy with the intro bit at the beginning. There you go. This thing looks... Knife. Knife. Jesus Christ, boy. Oh, <laughs> no, wait, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, let me show you this. Logan Paul, man. These are all little like beats from each of the people. The devil from AW. Yeah. Do you feel them, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, a drunk at one of the um, uh, well, press yeah, conferences. Yeah. It was really cool. <laughs> this is this the end of it now? So I just never put that much di in effort into the actual um, visual. Hold on! Go to video, doesn't it? Yeah, but I realised I need to redo the, some of the stuff though, because if you go forward a little bit, not very far, like five minutes or so, the fucking graphics disappear. I didn't check that. Fuck's sake, man. So I gotta. I might just leave it, but you know. Fucking annoying get around to it at some point when I can be bothered even though he, he, he's such a good person having a podcast that Patrick down there he's like the most animated person ever yeah. he like talks like he's doing a wrestling promo all the time <laughs> it was shocking you had um, the TNA women's champion pop up in the Royal Rumble she's a beefy woman look at her yeah. man she's fucking hell she's a beef man some yeah beef. she got more muscles than most like dudes she could batter most guys yeah. like straight up <laughs> Didn't actually call me in for any fucking reason there. Just let me know. Uh, she shouldn't have been there now. Yeah, she was, it was a good job I took her out, man. You cannot have a cat around you with, no, like, any distractors. No, no. doesn't work. <laughs> it's literally impossible. <laughs> I like her, but, you know, I don't care that much. I do. Uh, I they're cool. They're better than monkeys. I mean, you know, I'm not a fan of monkeys, per se. I yeah. saw, um... I haven't watched many Louis Through things, but I might start watching a few. Oh, Louis Through's brilliant. Yeah, I, I don't know where you'd even find it now. Oh, most there's there's a stack of them still on iPlayer. Oh, is that? Uh, yeah, okay. there were a few on Netflix for a bit, but I don't know if they're still there anymore. I haven't got Netflix that, for I mean, you can YouTube a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I keep um, 
There's a there's a there's a, a, a podcast, the Adam Buxton podcast, mm. and at one point they had um, oh, Caven no. Novak on. You know the guy who was uh, phone jack. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Know, and been in um, what we do in the shadows, a TV series. Right. And uh, he does such a fucking good Louis Theroux. It is unfucking real how close his Louis Theroux is. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just, it, I don't know what, he had that sort of, his, his, his phrase to get into it was, um, I was thinking of the line there, <laughs> too much, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, weird how, like, yeah. chilling that, I thought yeah. that's how he gets away to stuff, isn't it? He's yeah. probably like... Well, I said something that's a bit... <laughs> Oh, I thought it was like the, <laughs> the prison code one way when you know, like I saw um, the um, white guy were like, you can't give your food to like um, to any of the black guys, yeah, because yeah, they'll come down and just you know like a yeah. couple of them will have you, and he's like, yeah. you saying if I give my food? So you'll see, <laughs> if, I, if I take my food and I give it to the man over there, then he beat he beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that seem shocking to you? <laughs> What the hell is queer baiting? So I'm just looking at all these like cool like um freaking interviews and that he's done and things and documentaries and then just get to young blood on queer baiting. Yeah. I don't I even know what that is. What the shit he's done and he's st- oh Ra- oh yeah, racial segregation. That was the um San Quentin one. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen the Westboro Baptist Church? That's fucking phenomenal, that is. I'm not sure which one. Oh that? my god, he does two on the Westboro Baptist Church. Right. He does one where he goes there first of all, and then he does another one where he comes back later on to sort of, you know, to catch up and see what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, he's like, he's like do you not feel a little bit bad, you know, saying that, you know, all, all F words are going to hell? Because, oh, you know, yeah. This is someone's funeral. <laughs> oh, a funeral? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> okay no. Yeah, that's maybe not the time to yeah, say no, it. It's really not. You can't say they're going to hell. Yeah. You say they've gone to hell. It's a funeral. Yeah. Get your t- get, get your, your past tense wise. Yeah, Come on, right. man. <laughs> now we're good. Past the felt. Does, does it feel bad sometimes to, to oh. do that? Someone leaving. <laughs> someone left the church. I guess Lou got yeah, through to yeah, someone. Was, uh, yeah, Megan Phelps Rover. She's she's a really fascinating person. Is this the uh, family you're on about, or? Yeah, this is the yeah. This oh, that's that's. Yeah, so you must know about the Westboro Baptist Church. Oh, it sounds familiar. Oh mate, we're gonna have to do a deep dive on the Westboro Baptist Church. Why? What exactly? Let me see. They've got is. they've got songs and stuff that are just truly horrendous. Like bastardised versions of pop songs that are all about you're all going to hell and we're not and la 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 fuck you <laughs> like yeah, that's basically the, the no, no, I guess if, if you're gonna if you're gonna be a church it's better than yeah. just be like come with me our gracious yeah. king yeah. or whatever shit they yeah. think yeah. might as well be honest about it we will bring uh, you into our cult oh is this a here by any chance oh I'm saying yeah that's it. God hates you. <laughs> that would have said. Let me do it again. I should bring out some proper, like, you know, fucking, um, edited videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Music videos. Yeah. The weird thing is they do actually do that kind of stuff as well. Don't know if I'm sorry, but that's too sexual for a... She is like the matriarch of the entire thing. Oh, okay. Um, she's like the daughter of the guy who started the church and... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, everything goes through her, basically, or her husband. Oh, she's turning it down, actually, because they might get picked up by the thing still. Look at just fucking mouth. Look at the face right there, like, what? What the fuck is this shit? I wonder if we can... You're, not, you're never allowed. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> God hates you. That is, that is the dopest <laughs> life. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. That is the dopest 
dopest line. Oh, I've got to watch it. Just out of the room. Dark God hates you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This guy has got 2.2 million views from sitting down eating a Carolina Reaper. Well, we did worse than that. I don't know if this is worse than that. I was a dry Carolina Reaper. Was it Carolina Reaper yeah. though? Oh, yeah, but this is a pure one though. I don't know. I'd be, I'd be more interested in trying this than a freaking one of those crisps again though, because at least oh, you're getting the flavour. No, no, no. I need something I could eat. What I want we need to do is a curry. We need to do one where we build up. So we'll start off by like eating a jalapeno and seeing how it goes. Yeah. Then we move up to a habanero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta open up. Yeah. We have to get some of the um the bomb. Oh fuck the bombs. The bombs yeah. are fucking dangerous, man. Let's have a look at this man. He's done it already. Rick Davenport, everyone. Go check out Rick's channel. Oh, mate, he's got 2.2 fucking million views on this. He's good. He's he good. Give, right. give us a fo. Give us a fucking... We've oh, done this does. too. He's We've got, done our chip challenge. You can check he's got out. gloves, though, at least. He's smarter than us. Yeah, that was, that was a stupid idea, not having gloves. He didn't do anything. Gloves. I did, we just poured I it in, didn't we? I always wear gloves. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> For what? I don't know what a glove is. Oh, glove? Yeah, oh. I always wear gloves too. On my socks. Oh, he's eating it, oh, he's munching it. Oh, look at him. It takes a bit of time, apparently. Yeah. Oh. Caroline Reaper have got that really, like, tacky kind of. Hmm. Yeah. Building. It's worse when you swallow as well, isn't it? Which he looks oh, like yeah, he hasn't done yet. 100%. Yeah, because then it, it fucks you up. And he's going down your throat yeah. as well. I don't know why he hasn't swallowed yet, for God's sake. Maybe he hasn't, he's just doing weird stuff with his mouth. <laughs> you can Glasses are steaming up. Yeah. <laughs> you can survive this. Yeah, he looks alright, he doesn't look like he's doing too bad. I mean, that's nowhere near as bad as what we have in the shit, let's be honest. That doesn't look as bad. Oh, you can never tell though. Like some people are just better at dealing with this. Maybe, maybe. He's got his pillow very high on his chair. I haven't been able to do with spice to the same extent since doing that chip challenge. Genuinely, it's fucking up. Oh, I couldn't do it since before the um before since the pandemic, like I said, I lost all my spice and I had some the other day and it actually didn't kill me off and I was like, Oh wow, maybe it's coming back slowly. Yeah, yeah, slowly. slowly. You've got to work on it, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Build it up. I used to be so good at it, man. I can understand why he would have killed you off, though. <laughs> yeah, that's the adrenaline, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get a proper... Um, yeah, you get a proper adrenaline rush out of it. What's the thing as well? Do you have a party? Um, endorphin release yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, because your body's just trying to counteract. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, we need to keep alive. I got, I felt proper high. I think I got that from the, um, oh, I got a fucking spice from like crisp, yeah. yeah. Spice high is weird though, because it's like a zen high. You know, it's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it kind of threw you. Jesus Christ, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is your face numb? He's got a beer, apparently. Don't have a fucking heart attack, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, it'll be fine. People always think they're going to die when they do these things. I'd like to know if anyone's ever... If a lot of people get panic as well, I've heard. Oh, yeah. It's because your body's going into a fight or flight rep yeah. type thing, and you can't do either. <laughs> you just have to sit there and take it. I think I'm better with dealing like that kind of stuff. I don't get panicky about things like that anyway. No, I, don't I just panicky. don't like it. I don't get panicky. The only time I got slightly panicky was on that chip because I was like, oh my god, that's, that's fucking, that is beyond. Yeah, you god. died instantly. That was really You just went into your own world, yeah. like, for a bit. That fucking, it's because I put all the fucking powder on yeah. stuff that I should not have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't remember what I did, but I just tipped it in. I can't remember. Milk helps, yeah, it didn't help the watch. Yeah, no, milk only helps it when it's flowing, that's the thing. It has mm. to be a continuous flow of milk, you've got to, like, sit at it. Ice cream is, like, the best thing. Oh, ice cream is fucking excellent. I Apparently it's, like, sugary, like, donuts and stuff, too, yeah. that kind of crap. Yeah. 
Ordering more milk. Where are you ordering milk from? I was higher at a kite at this point. <laughs> Is that in the pound? Yeah. If only had panic attacks during it, I'm like, you know, an actual panic attack then. Yeah. Half an hour pure agony later. I mean, I'm not going to be, I'm not funny, being funny, but this guy seems like he's, he's that is a long time to still be being affected to it by that extent. Like, we, we took half an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was it. Yeah, I don't think it would be that long. I don't think you'd need half an hour. This is kind of ridiculous. I just thought it was having 14 in one minute. Oh, here you go. Like, oh, Jesus why? Christ. It's really entertaining watching competitive eaters, you know. I've been watching a lot of these lately. Or just eating peppers? Well, no, just competitive eaters in general. Um, it's more fun when you watch the spicy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. By far, you know. This is such a stupid fucking thing to do. <laughs> the hell's going on? Why do you... My internet only ever screws up when you're here, you know. Uh, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> you should see my internet that way. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Like, by this point, Christ. the pain's going to be unreal. Yeah, he'll, he'll be feeling them by, like, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you can see his fucking reaction. It's going to be super as well because it's all building up like that, you know. you got to swallow them yet as well. Although they, they like eat and swallow, like they chew it yeah, up and get it like, straight he's down. He's not getting the, um, the seeds, he's just swallowing the outer shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still going to come up with it. The stuff's still going to come though. Oh dear. He doesn't get away from you. Oh dear. It man's crazy. God, these ones really... Get him now then, because he didn't have a new one. Imagine the shit this guy would do. <laughs> yeah, it's, he got pepped up with more there, look. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, I don't imagine he's feeling good. Good mythical morning. Spicy ramen, that'd be interesting to try. Having to drink the broth at the end. <laughs> yeah. That'd be killer. Do you ever watch like hot ones? Oh yeah, I used to watch them. Yeah. Ones. I mean, this and like curries would be the stuff no, I'd go it's for. Why? Fucking spicy ramen. Why? They're, man, Why are you doing this to yourself? The the um, Japanese stuff and the Asian food in general, they're like the worst ones. Oh yeah. That's not even proper ramen. That's just like an instant fucking noodle. What you're talking about? Because he's putting that. In. Oh, making his own one. Okay, it's a bit. I like it when it's actual like. Restaurants, you know, with their set <laughs> yeah, things. Yeah. Do you ever watch Beard Meat Food? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's like my favourite, probably. He's fucking There's another guy who's better than him, but he's fucking annoying to watch. Yeah. Joel Hansen or something like that. He's just a fucking tool. How many did you put in? Oh, Jesus. That's the extract. That's like... Mad Dog Creek. That was like the hottest for a long time, that was. And then, like, over it's the last not, it's not actually a sauce. six years ago, it's probably the highest at this point. Yeah. It's not actually a sauce, it is, it's more of like concentrate. Yeah, yeah, like an oil kind of thing. Yeah, yeah you mix it up though, you don't want to just get it all in one go. Maybe you do. <laughs> Maybe you just like. Maybe! You know, fucking shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the rest of it. Oh, God. You haven't mixed it, babe. This there is a terrible go. idea, why are you doing this to yourself? It's only going to be the top look. It was already spicy anyway to begin with. Those things are spicy to begin with. Yeah. Oh, no. oh yeah, okay, it's proper mixing in now, look. Fair play. <laughs> now you're Skippy 62 Able, what are you in about? What's hot is chocolate down there? That's weird. I like his um, fork though. Oh my god, just fucking eat it, dude. <laughs> it's fucking... Oh, it's a robotic fucking... Fork. <laughs> What's the point, though? Oh, yeah, to be fair, that does help. Oh, God. He's in. He doesn't look like a competitive eater. No. He doesn't have the same skill as some of these people do. Watch him do this first. <laughs> oh, 
that's not what people watch though. People watch this guy to watch him put himself in pain. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what I watch them all for. I want to see the end, well, the midway result more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the music choice. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Why is that like. Oh uh, yeah, it's like, it's like a piano y like, yeah, kind of. Like a calm, lovely yeah. Piano. Sure, anything like that. The only thing you have at the end of the fucking Forrest Gump movie. No. Uh, yeah, I've never watched that film still. That's a good film. Still it's never watched it. Film, good film. I've heard of it. Everything I saw of it was like, this seems stupid. It is stupid. It's, it's, it's historical fan fiction, but it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I assumed it wasn't true from the bits I saw. Yeah, yeah. But it's like obviously fan fiction. You know? Yeah, he's not it even pretending. It wouldn't be out of place on a fucking a Reddit board. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, place on a ready board. Yeah. I have this idea for a guy who's pretty stupid and he goes around but he becomes involved in all of the things that happen in history. <laughs> like Doctor Who, but Doctor Who's an idiot. Yeah. Right, um, I should probably start getting ready to, to shoot. As much as it's nice watching this man gradually melt Get to the his end. face open. Oh god, what the hell? <laughs> Just milked himself. Oh god, it's, getting, it's a lot of fucking. Um, like new girl like baddies kind of girl come face that is you know when yeah, they're like looking yeah. in like <laughs> yeah with the fucking <laughs> fuck eyes I don't get that man it's weird, yeah, no, that is weird. I laugh whenever I see that on porn yeah, sometimes you're, you're scrolling through a porn site and you see someone like eh it's like oh fuck's sake it kind of ruins it for me when yeah, I'm watching something and I do that because she's obviously just fucking making a face so like I can't believe any of her performance no, I mean, I think <laughs> at the same time, like people do, just make faces, and they, it's part Not of a performance. Way, but but I just don't like that face. Yeah, face. I just don't like that face. It's a face made like that because anime chicks do it, which is so. Yeah, weird. yeah, yeah. It's not. I uh, get you. It's not a natural face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But sometimes the most unnatural things are great anyway. Fuck off. This is the man. Getting back into the dating now, then, man. I just hate it. I hate. The um, dating apps and that, I'm like, what has happened, man, to dating? Yeah, it's uh, difficult to find anyone. It's worth it when you yeah. do. Well, that's yeah. the same with anything, ain't it? Yeah. But, you know. I found, I found Bumble was a good, a good one for me, just because it's that thing, like, the woman has to say hello first. Yeah, yeah. That makes it just easier. I just... You know they're vaguely interested. I, c I just can't hold... I just can't keep up... Um, I, could, I just can't be asked after like a, mm. like a day of messaging. I'm like, oh, just having to keep up to date and do the messaging and all that. I just want to like talk at first and then we just meet up in a few days. We don't need to spend every moment talking. Yeah. Like, uh, you, you have that interesting. There's so many people like Dr. Satan about. <laughs> <laughs> There's cameras nowadays everywhere, you know. Britain's like got the most cameras on you. Like you always got a camera on you or something in like yeah, ninety percent of your life or not something. In someone's house, and that's where Doctor Satan did most of his. Don't work. go. Don't have a date in the house first of the time. Yeah, don't do that. That's don't be fine. a saggy sag. Yeah. Or no, be a saggy. No, means some for drinks should be okay, but I think there are some proper weirdos out there. Yeah. 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 So I just fall for a second, and the pole was in the way of the video camera the whole time, but it wasn't because I did it like that, so it shouldn't be. Right, right well, uh, plugs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in all fairness, I don't do a lot of the plugs at the end, at the beginning now. Which you should do, and I should put them at the beginning. Yeah. Kind of makes more I'll, sense. Yeah, post apocalyptic Metal Treehouse, I've started writing a few more of the sketches again, the actual bulk of the story bit's done. So, yeah, if I, if I actually put my nose to the grindstone, I could have a couple of post apocalyptic Metal Treehouse episodes out of the couple of months. I was going to say, so, a couple of years? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, genuinely, I've, I've, got, I've got to just write... I've already got the sketches written. I've just got to edit them to the point where I feel like they're... Like they're the story or the... The, um, the story's done. The story oh, okay, yeah. is done. Um, I just need to fill the rest of the time with sketches and then um, record it and, and edit it and put it out there. But the problem with that is that I've got to... I've got to get, basically, Creative Cloud to do it. And it's What's that? Adobe Creative Cloud. Oh, I don't even know if I'm still paying for one at the moment. I, I know I didn't pay something and then 
something I don't know but I think I've got some my Photoshop isn't even through that mm. I don't know like uh, no way that you don't put a win key cracked uh, yeah any other plugs uh, just the YouTube stuff you can check out ad break and all that kind of stuff on Instead Man Dancing on YouTube um, but yeah post apocalyptic about you has the most important one go find that it's brilliant I second that. Listen to it from the fucking side. It's a series, guys. It's a sketch show series, right? It's not like it's one of these things where you just you you you're gonna have two people talking. Give it a little bit of time. There's things to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We we want it all. Little finger to today's generation. though you know we want like box sets so we can yeah. binge and then move on and never think about it again. Exactly. That's what we want nowadays. Binge and go on. Um, myself, like you'll be seeing more bits of um, like I was saying, to be a new style. Um, comedian quiz off kind of spin off KD quizzing that's going to be good I like the idea of how I got it in my head it should work a lot easier so I can do it yeah. it'd be interesting to do exactly yeah 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 so I'll make you be doing one of them to for the first one to try it out um, and other than that yeah uh, switch radio every Tuesday 2 till 3 p.m. with your boy on um, 107.5 FM I think it is or just tell Alexa oi you Play switch radio is what I do. I, my Alexa is um, Australian at the moment. Mm. I find the voice settings are like, oh, okay. Mm. I turned into a man at first, but it just seems weird having a man. Yeah. You know, if, I, if I'm having somebody serving me, a subservient, yeah. gotta be a lady. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> no, okay, okay, you gotta suppose. Just can't be a dude. They're good for nothing else. So. Yeah, you know, a dude, you gotta respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I abuse them, then they can fight back. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> Not that I would, you know. I love women, me. Yeah. But, well, uh, yeah. Is there anything else? Yeah, Wrestling with Egos wrestling as well every egos. week. Um, the Ego Egos just came out. The Royal Rumble episode as well. It just actually just came out. That was the last one. Because two came out in like a couple of days. Cause I took a while doing them. And then it was really quick. Because the Royal Rumble was on. And we were like, yo, Royal Rumble! Which you need to go and watch. And then come on over. I won't tell you the Cody Rhodes Wonder Rumble. I won't do that to you. You take care. And keep that thing logical and tight and wrapped up all in your bosom. Yes. The bosom of logic. Bosom. Peace. Bosom.